Hello, everyone. And... <laughs> Yo! Hey, hey what's, up? Up? what's up? Yeah, we got a... a uh, we're down a, a chase for the moment. He'll be joining us a little bit later, but yeah. Oh, just well, a little bit. Yeah. He's saving the galaxy, y'all, okay? Cut him some slack. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A lot of pressure is on our clone boy. Yes. He just got he, promoted. He's <laughs> strategizing <laughs> with his clone brothers and sisters. Come yeah. on, give the man a, a few minutes. Yeah. He, he just got promoted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that line is burned into my brain. I fucking oh love the first episode of Clone Wars. But speaking of episodes, welcome to episode sixty of Revenge of the Crit and uh, nine yeah. more episodes. Yeah, nine more, nine or six oh, more episodes oh, <laughs> for the meme, for the meme, for the memes, yes. for the memes. We'll Patreon start. content. Will not... wait, Christian. <laughs> Christian was right when he said, yeah, we're pulling the fucking uh, Order 66 on episode 66. I mean, I am totally not opposed to doing that. I am a, I am very devious, as you will come to find out towards the end of this arc. But um, <laughs> I I am going to make y'all cry. <laughs> More so soon. Oh, but... I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, welcome to, uh, like, we might have some new folks coming in as, uh, people following through the TikTok, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, um, welcome to Revenge of the Crit. I am your DM for the evening, the past, the present, and the future sessions. Uh, Kevin, you can follow me at all of these social places at, uh, at Kekurovia, you'll probably find me, I'll have stuff to announce and all that jazz, but yeah, that's my spiel, and next up we have Christian. Hello, my name is Kappa or Christian. Both are good, not Chris. Um, you can find me on Twitter at the Kappa Chris. I know that's that's uh, that's odd. I just told you not to call me Chris and Chris is my. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have existential crises about it every other week or so. Um, but uh, uh, other than that, just follow my Twitter. I post all my projects over there. Uh, recently, I just did a uh, a cool thing that I will plug later. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know. I play Soren. I, I, how do I do this? It's been a week. It's been a whole <laughs> it's seven been a, days. It's been a whole, been a whole seven, seven, seven days. days. Yeah. Seven days. Seven days. Uh, seven yeah. days. I play Soren. Not 11 days. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is, uh, Christian. Our, and next up we have Tati. Hey yo, Tati here. I play your favorite Sabrak boy, Razio. He's gonna do his best to be a badass and keep people alive. Boy, we're 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 entering dangerous territory. Let's go. Oh yeah, I yeah. You're gonna try to keep people alive, but I'm you kill will them. try. <laughs> you, you you will try. <laughs> just just bring this poor boy more pain, why don't you? Go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> uh, well, well, gosh, golly gee, I I might take you up on that dare. <laughs> All right, um, and yeah, next up we have Jinkles. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh I'm Jinkles. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at lovejinkles on twitter.com um i am nervous because kevin decided to spring on me that apparently i'm making a speech to my uh my clone comrades so what? I mean, hey, hey, hey. i'm saying i'm i'm gonna i'm okay more accurately i'm gonna basically like bring you up to bat you can choose to give them a speech. It might help you. I don't know. No, have the clones yeah, might I, I empathize know. with you a I bit know. more. Yeah. I know. Don't worry. You know I'm just fucking with you, right? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I just thought you didn't have a thing for like making speeches in character, but sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is gonna this is gonna be me as soon as like uh, we get to the speech part. All right, it'll play. <laughs> oh my fucking god that is amazing um but yeah that is jinkles and after that we at last but not least uh oh absent right now but we have our good boy chase you can find him at twitter at the chase beck he's just he's playing uh yeah for those like watching on uh, uh on the twitch uh, chase is our clone commando right here uh, we have tati is playing our zabrak boy raz here 
we have Ko Kappa uh, playing our Shis uh, Sniper Boy Soren, and we have what? Jinkles uh. on Shiriven, our beautiful guard Guardian Jedi Twi'lek. But yeah, I believe we have introductions out of the way. Let's get into some motherfucking D and D and get some get this recap what? going. We didn't choose anybody to do the recap this week. I thought you chose someone. <laughs> All right, uh, and privately, uh, <laughs> I um, I hate putting people on the spot. Let's do it from uh from Obi Wan's perspective. Oh, son of a bitch! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there good, you go. Good job, me. <laughs> it's <ex> big brain, <laughs> big, big brain, brain movements. Come on, <laughs> of course, the the one time I have. Oh, Obi Wan is not singing in the fucking recap. You do not do not spend those fucking shinies on me, <laughs> Gina. I swear to God, no. Gina, do it, Gina. Yes. <laughs> you. you... Oh, no. I know you're watching oh, on a TikTok. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you through yes, through the TikTok. Sir. I mean, Gina, close I, the TikTok. I Every love, fiber love... of my being. <laughs> Gina, I love you. We all love you. I, I hate this so, so goddamn much. I'm gonna put the fucking dance, music. Obi, dance. <laughs> dance, water, dance. Yeah. Okay, all right, uh, we gotta get him. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna regret this so much. All right. Um. Here, wait. Let me uh. I, I, whatever that was, I didn't hear it. <laughs> the pot is going to Jakku to deal with Soren's old asshole friends. It's really sandy and there's a lot of shit that's scary on this planet they don't know. Da -da -da -da. Lots of clones are gonna die in this place, maybe. Let's see how they do. <laughs> no! <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> I really oh, hate Oh my god. god. You know, for inspirational speeches, you, you need to work on that a bit. <laughs> It'll just give you a fucking eye before you... <laughs> anyway. <sighs> so, my friends and foes and undecided, we continue from where we left off as you guys departed from Coruscant after dealing with the proceedings with... The arresting of Count Dooku, you kind of left the Jedi Council to sort of decide amongst themselves while, um, uh, to decide amongst themselves who will fill the seats left by the deaths of Adi Galea and the departure of Dooku and his arrest. But, um, and you dealt with, uh, um, uh, Captain, Th Captain Thrawn and Captain Tarkin, who came on the Ch Jedi Temple to arrest him, but uh, due to Soren's quick thinking, you managed to sway them from taking any uh, action that might be a little bit drastic. Uh, and slight retcon, as far as where you guys are, uh, instead of go everyone going in on Pong Krell's Venator, you guys, um, the part basically the party, so all, all four of you, R7, Captain Tharda, uh, all the clone cap... I'll say that each of the clone captains have their own uh, Venator, so um, Shiri Ven Patch is on this one with you, and as well as uh, Bruiser and Sora are on other the other two Venators that are flying along with you. And you got uh, like three days of preparation as you're... As you guys and D-Gig's with us, right? <laughs> yes, I totally forgot about D-Gig. Um, yeah. Also, R7 is there. <laughs> I I imagine he won't be seeing any combat today, but if if he he has a 19 AC, so <laughs> if you if you 19? Yeah, fucking uh, Chase gave him an upgrade, so his AC is 19 now. Oh my god. Yeah, he got he that. Yeah, he got a chromium plate and chill. Oh yeah. I mean, just because it's 19 AC doesn't mean it's a lot of fucking hit points, but. <laughs> You, but it helps. It certainly does. Yeah. But 
Uh, we're we're the uh, Rough Riders uh, flying. Oh yeah. yeah, the Rough Riders are in this. Uh, are they're sort of split up? Um, Brass and his top uh, riders, including yourself, uh, Raziel, they are on the Venator with you. The um, okay. Bark Speed, other basically like everyone else, or like one third of them are on your Venator. The second third, that's just another bunch of Bark Speeders, are on the second Venator, and the third one has exclusively <coughs> ATRGs, just like loaded up in gunships, and they're basically getting ready to uh, depart. But, cool. Yeah. So, um, and you guys are sort of, uh, all, I'll say you guys are in, like, the main, uh, deck, and you are all called to the war room. And... Oh, yes, going. baby. We're going big time. So, what would you guys like to do? I'm assuming, aside from go over there, unless there's yeah. people you want to meet or chit-chat with on the way there. Huh? No. I don't think there's anyone really. Okay. Yeah, I think I think on the way it would just be like so. So the war room. What, what should we expect? I mean, like, anticipate some we're talking strategy here. Strategy to go to go forward. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So you guys will make your way eventually to the uh, war room, just the main deck of the ship, and there you will find um. A couple of figures, like, along with, like, all the clones outside of their armor working the various, uh, stations. And, uh, like, working on the computers and the piloting, you have, um, on holograms, you have, um, uh, Pong Krell. And on the other ships, the other two clone captains, Bruiser and Sora. And you have, like, in person, Patch and Tharda. As well as a third figure that you are all meeting for the first time. And I will pop their image in image oh reference laws. Are we gonna scream? Are we gonna scream? Nah, uh, I don't think you will. But we see. Oh just... my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's the munch hops. It's the munch hops <laughs> yeah, you just see this uh, very young, uh, youngish-looking male um, with like this brown hair and like some very nice sideburns, like slowly like becoming mutton chops. He looks probably not about, not too above his thirties. It looks like, and just kind of like standing there, like discussing with Tharda. And as you guys make your way through the uh, main door, like, everyone sort of turns to you. And Captain Tharda, this uh, female clone uh, commander, just goes, Ah, Command General Shiri, then. Well, and the rest of uh, Raziel, Soren, and Viper, welcome to the war room. We were looking forward to discussing our plan of attack once we reach the surface. Right. What have we come up with so far? Uh, uh, General Krell, and he sort of like press a little button on the thing, and I will reveal uh, the map to y'all now. Ooh! Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a big that. boy! Yeah. Look at this. Ooh! And I'll reveal to the TikTokers as well. Uh, oh, oh, nice! That's a sh Oh, I, I love the little sir like pin at the bottom. Yeah. Hold on, let me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See them dragon bones? That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and keep in mind the scale. This is like every grid is block is like two hundred feet. Okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah. This Oof. is a very big place. Big expanse. Wow. Yeah, All right. Up, that, that is straight up a city. Yeah. It's a yeah like yeah sore in the wall like that's been there since uh, uh ever since you first arrived there as a very young boy. Um, Sweet. Yeah, and it's kind of been dilapidated. Like I'll say like. Yeah, and I'll say, um, oh yeah, very important to know, uh, because just before, like, the meeting goes any further with them, you would know, Soren, that there are the entrances for the Sorcerers of Rom are scattered right along here, so I'll just draw little X's so you can see sure. what they might be, so there's, like, this little behind that rock right there. Yep. Yeah, you've got several of them, like, scattered throughout along the walls. Awesome. Is that that's the city of Jakku in the middle, right? Uh this is actually uh the a city uh, city of Jakku planet. Uh, yeah, Excuse me. Uh, yeah, the city uh, you would know um uh, what idiot. Yeah, no you're fine. Uh, the city of Jakku you would know Soren is Zanatash. 
The Xanatash. All right. Yes, and I'll I'll say. Let me practice that in Soren's voice. Xanatash. Okay. Yeah. I'll say like there's. Yeah, like the sorcerer entrances are kind of. <clears throat> like these are the ones you would have probably have. Okay. Gone to. I'll say a couple more here. Yeah, like there's like a whole like underground system, but I'll mm -hmm. say yeah, all this is just like. Uh, basically, like this whole area is just like plain, plain, like flat, sandy slash rocky surfaces. All this right here. Oh, I did not want to draw. Um, all this this general area, like past that where the sand <coughs> starts to curve a little bit, and you see some more dead trees. That's just where the dune dune sea reminiscent area begins, where it's just nothing. Were but you sand. were you ping, were you pinging out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right okay, along, cool. right along like this general area great and i'll great. say north <laughs> north, uh, north yeah. <laughs> and along the south southwest and southeast where you see these big um orange uh, orange rocks these are like the bits of a gorge and it's called um what did i come up with um uh uh i'll say it's uh known as uh it's Runaway Gorge. Runaway Gorge, got it. Yeah, and it has a Sarlacc pit that has not been, um, for as far as you know, it has not been um, visited by any individuals for quite some time, but the master did tell you to, like, generally stay away from that area growing yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Um, my question would be uh, the the one question that I had would be where do where do we operate our starships? Oh yeah, the starships. You guys can them? basically land anywhere you would like. Um, no, the 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 um the sorcerers. Would I would I know that? Oh, where the source? Mm. Yeah, where where would Quill be deploying from? Where was I deployed from? Ah, uh, okay. I'll say you okay. guys. Is there like a secret hangar somewhere, or yeah. is it just straight up in Xanatash? Mm, I'll say it is, uh... It's hmm. like a doggy door. Yeah, hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, you guys would <laughs> You would have landed, or, like, I'll say, like, there... Yeah, because I did... Because I did mention there was, like, a port in the city as far as, like, your backstory, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'll say, as far as a port goes, it would probably be... And I'll make that a different color. Uh, draw shape, freehand. I'll make that blue. I'll say that the port, like would be right about here okay oh uh, yeah and i'll say like, like and that's oh, just a general port that's not that's not a secret port for the uh for the no. sorcerers or is that like a no okay. it's just as far as the people know this is just a place where like this is just where ships come in and out to dock just parking right outside of the city gates got it got yeah. it cool. yeah. there's no like there's no like um uh, Charles Xavier's home for extraordinary children, where the where the basketball court like opens up and then <laughs> Will comes out. With his fucking... There is no basketball court in Xanatesh that you know of. Okay, cool. Dreams <laughs> are made of this. <laughs> who am I? <laughs> but yeah, so replace with Soren. Yeah, as uh, the map is uh, pulled up, Pongkrell like with. Oh yeah, I'll say um. He has Commander Bakara by his side as well, and he will go, um... Well, I just wanted to throw at least my personal idea out before we commence any other str Before we hear out from you and your group, but I suggested if these... Uh, from what I'd heard from Soren's uh, detail, is that if these swords were left underground, that perhaps we can bring them out of hiding with a little orbital bombardment around, around the dunal area. As he like sort of will indicate, uh, like just around this general vicinity. Okay. Oh, like ping around there, he goes like, "Our turbo lasers are precise enough. Then they will, the horses, the forces will crowd over to that vicinity. And meanwhile, as you br drink, bring down the fire, myself and my men and walkers will station ourselves along the cat, along the gorge here. And like you like point over to." pinging over to these little uh, uh, canyons and like he'll he like the little holograms of just gunships dropping off ATTEs along the edge and just like pointing their guns down so if anyone attempts to escape we'll have them blocked in <laughs> oh 
Well, that's pretty impressive. Yes. Um, they're very, very good. Very good. And uh, um, Patch will sort of pipe up and go, but we don't know the rest of the uh, surface as well and what, um, which source was the mine encounterer, let alone any wildlife that could be a potential issue. Um, Soren, if you might care to enlighten us further on the life on this system. So, um, Jakku is very much a desert. It's very desert, but li life does find a way. There's a Sarlacc pit to the very south in between the two gorges. Hmm. Um, if you, and I'll indicate on the map. So, don't land anything near here. Um, it could be useful, used to our advantage if we funnel uh, folks who are trying to escape towards that area and we can control them a lot for uh, a lot more effectively. And I'd say, I'd say, given from my uh, from my own experience, these are the locations that they would potentially be coming out of if you were to flush them. Uh, and I'll point to the different uh, the, the the X's on the map that mm -hmm. are outside of the city walls. Okay. Mm. I see. Well, I can let you know my men won't be going anywhere near that that pit. At least not until the battle's over, and we will need to make either arrests or executions if necessary. So the sorcerers are very, res uh, you know, are, are very crafty and resourceful. Here, a point to the blue X, is where most of the ships in uh, by Zanatash are stationed and, and later um, and are held until until the next voyage. Keep an eye on that. Um, if you if you could also uh, maybe perhaps have a gunship at the ready for any fleeing vehicles that's where they would be at least the most of them if if someone were to have their own personal stash i don't know um they would probably be coming out of these three areas mm -hmm. from within Zenatash, and i'll point to the smaller axes okay and uh sorry i'll pipe up and go um actually um my i have enough gunships to divert the forces to focus on any escape if any escaping ships, if that is necessary. Oh, perfect. Well, that takes care of that. Thank you, Sora. And uh, Tharda will actually kind of look to you, like she has her eyebrow raised um, at you, uh, Shirvan. Mm -hmm. Um, she'll go. So, I take it you won't, you aren't opposed to the orbital bombardment as the opening announcement of our attack. The. As long as no civilians outside of the Sorcerer's Guild are harmed, I'd be okay with it. Of course, General. Our guns are <laughs> indeed most precise. We will be we'll be sure that nothing of uh, of importance is harmed in this in this mission. Might might I make a suggestion to avoid any of that nastiness? Speak freely. The sorcerers don't know we're coming. Um, the closer we can get without alerting them to our presence, the better. I think it would make a lot of sense to have smaller groups infiltrate the three entrances in the city, and any sorcerers who are caught in, uh, in the underground network will be forced out of the three locations out of the city at which we can commence bombing without <coughs> harming the civilians. Hmm. And like Thor will go, it is a risky maneuver. How much of this, how much do you really know of these civilians aren't already corrupted by the sorcerers themselves? Well, how long has it been since I've, it, it's been like how, like It's been like close, close to three months since you've been three back. Three months, okay. Hey, three months. Um, yeah. Um, the sorcerers of Ram are very tight knit. It takes a very long time for someone to be inducted into it. I can't imagine that they've amassed many, if any at all, in that amount of time. Any new members in the city themselves. But that's just my own my own conjecture. Hmm. You do bring up a very good point. We do run the risk of alerting um, any compromised civilians. And perhaps they might have, if they are as secretive as they, as you say them to be, perhaps 
these entrances might not be entirely reliable. And, uh, Patch sort of brings up, um, uh, Raziel, could... How soon can you and the, um, Rough Riders prepare a scouting party? We could prepare right away. Hmm. Wouldn't take long to scout out the area and see where they're actually hiding. That'd give you enough of a time frame to set up your positions. Hmm. And when the time is right, to strike. And, uh... Uh... The Tharda <clears throat> will sort of, uh, Patch will chime in and go, We do at least have one stealth gunship that can drop you into the city safely enough. Just outside of the... A bit, a fair bit in the sea, into the dunes area, but... You will be under a decent bit of cover as the sun will be just rising before we arrive. Hmm. That's good. That'll certainly help to our advantage. And, uh, and so, and like, Kral will sort of pipe up, so, you, so you and, you would like you and your allies to infiltrate the city while, before the, before the sun rises to catch the enemy on both fronts. To flush them out towards our most advantageous positions without compromising any other means of escape. Essentially, yes. Hmm. You know, kind of like scratch his chin. Hmm. And uh, Bakar will sort of pipe up, chime in, going, It's a lot of risk for potentially a little reward. Hmm. And now, if this source was as strong as you, this Grand Master is as strong as you say, you really think you can take him on by just the four of you and potentially all his allies in there? We fought worse. And uh, so uh, y'all can't see this in the audio, but Soren nods in agreement. Hmm. Nothing that we can't handle. We faced against a lot of tough foes. This won't be any different. I'll say at this but, time, uh, the only thing that sorry, the only thing that's different is that we have support from all of you. Mm -hmm. I'll say right in this moment, Soren. You guys are still in hyperspace. You still got like a couple, probably like day, two days, day and a half left. And Soren, you get a response on your communication from your sister. Holy shit. Pog? Right now, Pog? 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 Sword Pog? Sword Pog? Soren Pog! Oh yes, uh, yes, people new to the chat. Uh, spam, uh, we have emotes of all the characters, so spam oh. Soren... Sword Pog, Sword Pog, Sword Pog, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, um, this is in the middle of the war meeting. Right. Yeah, it's right in the middle of the war meeting. It is still going on, and you get this uh, communication um, in Sela, uh, in your language, or or Cheyun. Yeah. That's it. And uh, <clears throat> it just says, "Please, come get me, brother. They have me. I need your help." You're my only hope. But that's in text format. It's not a voice recording. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I hear it in her voice as I remember it many years ago. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> so I received that. Soren is going to... Um, in the middle of everyone sort of talking and discussing, he'll open it read it and it's very obvious his face has shifted from you know business to very confused but also a a bit of fury behind the eyes and so like anyone on the team who's who's you know keeping an eye on Zorn notices the shift immediately and he'll look up at all of you and I'll, I'll be right back. Oh. And then, and, like, you see, like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. And uh, he'll push his way out of the war room. Okay. And I'll say, like, you <laughs> see, like, the Admiral person speak... Uh, like, start to speak up. I'm sorry, I've been rather quiet. Um, 
this is just all... <laughs> I have a great, tremendous respect for all of you here right now. Um, as he, like, will sort of walk to the war room and go, like, uh, offer a hand to you, Shervan goes, uh... And we'll just call Tessie, um, recent graduate from the Republic Flight Academy. Uh, he just got promoted to be an admiral, ma'am. I, I'm, gosh, golly, I'm so excited to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he killed his <laughs> Well, we'll one in tarnation. <laughs> he sounds like, a, the what's his name, the other uh, fucking... Oh my god, the, the, the older guy from, uh... Blazing Saddles. What in the wild, wild world of sports yeah. is going on? Yeah, and uh, Thardo, uh, Cap, uh, Commander Thardo will probably going, uh, pardon his eagerness, General. He's very... Shiri holds up a hand. She's like, it's oh. fine. Do not worry. And so you take his hand sh and shake it? I will shake his hand, yes. Oh, it's an honor to meet you, ma'am. I've heard her tales of your war record. It's mighty impressive. His name's Tessin? Uh, Jess, uh, called Tessie. Cold Tessie, Jess okay. Called, Jess called Tessie, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll spell it out in, uh... Okay, great. In, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put it over as image reference. That that would be smart. Um, let me do yeah. Jess... Uh, no, have a, have a separate chat for text reference archive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Jess called Tessie, okay. Cold okay. Tessie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she shakes his hand right, th right then, like, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and Thardo will pipe up going, Yes, while your while the general's war record is impressive, we I came to the conclusion that you were lacking in a admiral that could match your very unique speci specialities, and you are in desperate need of a person who can command your your ship. And um you will go, um yeah, um Oh, uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Um, as part, uh, when I took uh, control, I was told that this was the name of uh, your vendor was the command, if I recall correctly, of the balance. Yeah. Yes, yes it is. Oh, man, she is, she's a tad banged up, but she's seen <clears throat> some better days, but <sighs> decided to do some damage with her for the good old Republic. I entrust the ship in your hands, Ab. Don't worry. And I do have, uh, oh, uh, if we are still, uh, this is very important, um, if we are still moving forward with the, um, orbital bombardment, I'm gonna need a, uh, you to, um, give me your uh, command sequence as you, like, pull out a data pad and, like, basically he'll give you, like, uh, the other, like, code so it basically like Wait, we're uh we're doing we're doing the bombardment after we get the uh civilians cleared right yeah or the okay. scouting first yeah yeah this yeah. After and the scouting bombardment. and everything the scouting, right i'm just hopefully. making sure making sure yeah sure. hopefully we're flushing yeah. out any stores yeah. from inside to out of the city <clears throat> yeah so yeah she gives him everything that he <clears throat> needs all right so the way it's gonna go is once you got everybody cleared out, you just press that little combination right there, and I will give the order to my men to bombard the hell out of the outside city. And I'll be, we'll be accurate. These turbo lasers are, they do a lot of damage, but I will be sure to get on my man's asses to be as accurate as possible. This here's the wildest ride in the world. I <laughs> love this guy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love him. And All right. And she just she nods and she's like, "Understand one hundred percent." All right, right. and yeah, just uh, give me the command whenever you you and uh, OZ that like, goes over to you, Raz, going whenever you and your uh, and your scouting friend are looking to head on down there. I will ensure uh, get the orders for the stealth gunships to ready to drop you off there. Uh, sure. <laughs> Sounds good. Right, and uh, you as well. Uh, uh, let me see what you're. Uh, oh, Sergeant. Uh, RC0947. Oh, you go by Viper as well. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. And you'll, like, sort of awkwardly shake, uh, um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, to, uh, Viper's hand. And you'll go, like, is there anything else we should know? Perhaps you might want to bring Soren back in to discuss further important <laughs> information. Yes. I, I was going to ask if we could pause the rest of this before we brought and brought someone back in here before we went any further yeah thought will like raise an eyebrow at krell then just look to you like just normal face and be like 
You may. We'll take a quick a quick recession for the time being. Admiral, and uh, she go. Oh, of course, uh, Commander. All right, man, tidy up. As like he'll like sort of like go back to his station and just keep ordering the people. And uh, you, I'm assuming you're gonna go look to find. Soren. Yeah, Sherry yeah. looks to Raz and Viper, and she kind of like nudges her head, like let's and move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Save. Raz will immediately follow you. Yeah, and I'll say uh, Viper is tagging along. Just yeah. uh, Also, yeah. Sherry's leaving uh, R7 to man the place. <laughs> like, oh, so you're leaving away. R7 to hang with Cult R- R- Yeah, R7 will handle shit. I know he will. He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, so do you... <laughs> so, I'll say, like, just before you guys leave, R7 sort of rolls in, just goes like... And he's like, why the hell did you Mine tell me there was a war meeting going on? I always wanted to be in one of these. And, and then Coltessi's the like, the... oh yeah. my, my goodness, isn't that an excited little astromech unit? As he kind of like watches, marches over to and like stretches out hands like, nice to meet you, friend. Uh, name's Coltessi. Uh, what's your identification number is? And like R7 just kind of like looks to him and the head like rotates to you. Just like, <laughs> like very, like almost too slowly. And uh, then, like, he's just like, should I murder this man? <laughs> <laughs> it's more just, just like a, um, this guy's a little much to be an admiral. <laughs> he's, he'll, he'll get you. You know, Shiri kind of like looks at him and like, mm, he'll, get, he'll get used to it. Don't worry. Um, uh, admiral, please fill my droid in on everything going on while I go and look, we go and look for uh, look for Soren. And like R seven will like slowly look back to uh, Jess. And like stretch out a hand for him to shake, and like, <laughs> and like you're like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, all right, R seven. Uh, oh, thank you very much for that, uh, General. I'll begin. I'll be sure to be quite well acquainted with this draw by the end of this venture. Don't you worry. And uh, he'll sort of like, come along. I'll show you around the place. And like, <laughs> and then like R as like R seven is rolling in, his head just kind of turns three sixty, like back. W- makes a 180 turn back to you as you guys are leaving the war room and it just the door just <laughs> closes behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hate me for that. I'm sure it'll be fine. So yeah. All right, let's go look for Soren. Oh yeah, while all that <laughs> yeah. shit was going on, Soren, what are you doing? Uh, while all of that was going on, I think Soren would just be reading it over and over again, and like in his head, just trying to recall his sister's speech patterns and try and determine if this is actually her. Mm-hmm. Because I mean... behind behind the sort of revelation that she might be alive is the suspicion that this might be another be might might just be the grandmaster um you know using her uh her her calm frequency however however he got it if he got it at all uh against soren to throw him off his game and, and would you like to make an insight check just i do sure. want to make an insight check well then go ahead and roll it I'm gonna do. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to do it. I didn't I'm mean trying to, to describe to the, to the folks. Yeah. Give me, a, give me a second here. Uh, insight. Hiya. Twenty. Okay. I need to uh make a roll. Wow. Oh no! Wait, yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, it seems it seems legit. Okay. Like, the so, words, like, like, she, yeah, like, it does seem like a tad rush than she normally is, but this is, but, like... yeah, I mean, if she's captured, then she she probably, you know, she wants to... Mm-hmm. Right. So, he'd be reading it over and over again, and I guess he'd still be doing that by the time the party finds him. Not, not far, I'm still around, you know, nearby. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, like, you find Soren just, like, a little, like, off... Uh, just a little ways off from the war yeah, room I'm in, I'll be I'm in one of the corridors um, looking at the data pad and pacing back and forth, kind of like like scrunching my hair, scratching the back of my head, obviously distressed. Just yeah. a little bit. And like some clones pass by, they kind of give you the eye sore, but you don't really... What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you actually say that to them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, some will like sort of like 
back off because like the, these you can tell these are clones that have never seen uh, you around before uh, yeah. or HS and they just kind of like like run off uh, past uh, you sh- Shirvan, Raz, and uh, Viper. <laughs> oh, good heavens! <laughs> oh, great heavens! <laughs> but yeah. But, yeah, you guys, uh, find, guys yeah, you guys find... Yeah, you guys find Soren um, looking a little bit stressed just outside. Yeah. Shiri, like, immediately... Like, I'm not gonna cast calm emotions just yet. She's going... <laughs> no. Here's the thing. I, I will grant that to my teammates. I won't do it immediately. <laughs> Okay. She, she's fair. going to she when she sees Soren, she immediately takes note of how distressed he looks and she just Yeah. Big sisterly vibes comes right over. She's like Soren? Like she's not going to like, you know, get too close, like yeah. she doesn't know what the fuck will happen. Just, Soren, everything alright? Uh No, no, everything's not alright. And he'll hand the hand you the data pad. It's it's her. I told I told you about my sister, right? Oh. Yeah, you mentioned she she might have perished, right? Might have, might have. Um, and on the off chance that she survived these past several years, I would just send another a message on our call frequency. And up until. Now, there's been no response, and out of the blue, while we're heading over to where I last saw her, she sends a message, and she needs help. She's alive? I, I think so. This this is... I mean, I know it's just a, a, a message in, I... in Galactic Basic, but it it does seem like her. I can't, sh- I can't shake the feeling that the Grandmaster might have his hand in it somehow, but I think... Do you... I, I think this is her. I don't, I don't want to compromise this, this no. maneuver, this mission. But if there's any chance that she's down there... Tori, we will do what, whatever we can. If she is really down there, we'll help you. We will help her. Because without saying, I, I I didn't doubt that at all. I just, if anyone finds out that we could, we, we I I don't know the protocol here, the military protocol. We already have our parameters to what? for mm-hmm. for for the mission. This would right. this this would strictly be, and he'll Maybe look go. around. Our own sort of goal. Right. I might have an. Raz, do you think that maybe you could extend or somehow stall your scouting? Maybe try and find anything you can. Some sign? Yeah, of course. I can try to look around, look for clues, any sort of sign that your sister might be out there. I'll, I'll make it happen. I'll do what I can. In the meantime, maybe we could try to discern where this frequency is coming from. If you're sure it's her, we should also double check. Oh, there he is! There's the boy! Hey. <laughs> There's the hacker man. Freedom, the freedom. But yeah, um, quick recap as far as uh, what. Oh, let me just. There we go. I. It's Ten thousand years can give you such a crick in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He lives. Hi. Hey. Hello. I'm. I literally, I literally just did the Mushu yell. Hello. <laughs> Echo chamber? <laughs> okay. Hi, what did I miss? Hi, I'm so sorry. You're totally I, fine. Hello? <laughs> yeah, um, so, qu- quick recap. You guys are all on the one Venator now. Like, uh, all, uh, Bruiser Sora, Bruiser Sora, Ponkrell, his, his old crew are all on their own ships now. You guys just had a war meeting. Soren just got a message from, uh, his sister. 
uh, saying that she needs help and like someone's captured her, like where they're going. Oh. And um, yeah, and he just kind of left the war room in the middle of the meeting, and you guys are just on a quick break, and you guys, I'll say like, yeah, you're you're all like there with him right now. And that's what yeah, that's on Glee. Got it. Yep, you just stepped into Feels moment. Are we live? Yeah, we are we live. We are. Hi, chat. Hello, chat. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Sorry, sorry about that. I had to do it's... hot girl shit. No, you're good. <laughs> you good. Yeah, you're fine, man. Yeah. But yeah, that is, uh, yeah, we'll get into specifics as far as, like, the strat that was discussed before you got here. But yeah, now, now feels. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's also a little bit of strategy. Mm -hmm. Christian, but, if you would like to take the reins in explaining to uh, to Chase yeah. what's going on, please yeah. do. I am so, a baby here. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so part of Soren's backstory, you know this, um, or you would know this. Um, he was dropped off on Jakku by his sister after his planet was invaded by Maul and and friends. Um, <laughs> Maul and friends. Maul and friends. The and new friends. sitcom coming to Disney Plus. It's Maul and friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like fucking, it's like fucking Muppet Babies, just like, Mall, Mall, friend, babies, yeah. make your dreams come true. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's, just, it's just like a fucking puppet show, and like one half, one guy's just paying yeah. the like upper half, and the other half plays his baby, legs. Ba baby Mall, Baby Senate, Baby Vader. It's just, it's just like, Kenobi. Kenobi. Baby Griffiths. Kenobi! But, but, yeah. but yes, continue. Oh, oh. yeah. Tangents. So, yeah, um, yeah. he, uh, Soren hasn't seen his sister since that day he was dropped off with, uh, with Quill. Mm -hmm. Um, but, and she might be dead uh, as far as Soren knows, but on the off mm -hmm. chance that she is still alive, sometimes he se he'll send out like update messages to, to Solia. Um, <laughs> And quick, quick MySpace updates. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and <laughs> he he hasn't gotten any response back. But a few weeks ago, all of them just got read. Um, oh. And while we were in the war room, but still no response. Um, while while we were in the war room, um, Soren received a message from Solia's uh, comms channel, um, saying that she is captured and needs help assume i'm assuming on jack who what, what was what was the exact wordage there um kev uh that she was um of the, of the message you just got yeah like she said they have me i'm here or something like they that. have me uh you're my only hope um uh, please get me uh, out of yeah, just something to that effect. Very like, help me, Obi Wan Kenobi, or me. Okay, Obi so Obi so all of all of the all of the 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 specifics I have pulled from conjecture based on. Okay, so we got to clarify in in the story what where she actually is, who actually has her. But yeah, sure. the, that that's pretty much. And you're caught up. Um, Soren thinks that Soren had the inkling that it might be a ploy from the Grandmaster that it, you know to to. Ah, uh, ruse. I see. Yeah, exactly. Um, but an insight check. Soren feels like this is actually like his is actually his sister. So, and you're caught up. Gotcha. The, the rest of the party are here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> if we, if we could, if we could possibly try to discern if it's actually coming from her or it's a trick. Maybe try and hack the frequency. I think Soren would nod, just sort of silently like gulp, um, just a little bit. No, that's 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 very smart. Um, better safe than sorry. Try and understand where the this is coming from first before responding. God, she, she could be alive. And I hope she is. I hope this is actually her. And since she's still holding the device, she kind of looks at Viper. You want to take the reins on this big guy? <sighs> One slice coming right up. All right, and so oh, now what, now what's what that? What would I roll for that, Kevin? I'll say. So you're just to clarify, you're trying to yeah. So you're just trying yeah, to but... backtrack the message to see where it came from. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I believe. Yes. Then yes. I say, go ahead and make me a technology check. 
Oh, with a 13? I think I will. Thank you very much. Uh, I sure oh my hope God. it does. 32! Oh, boy! <laughs> 32. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! You know, yes, sir! Watch Dogs 2 up in this bitch! You know precisely where it's coming from on the planet. Oh, yes! Wow. You it to, good. like, <laughs> deep, like, uh, it's, yeah, like, you have to, like, plug it, go, like, to, like, you know, like, the systems within the ship, but... You managed to pinpoint it is underground. Uh, if you're on, looking on the map, I'm pinging it for you. Around this vicinity. Right over there. Yeah. So I'll, mm -hmm. I'll just, uh, okay. Are we on the map or is this just like Oh no, this what, is like, is the yeah, map. this is what Jakku looks like, at least like the aerial view of it. Uh, from like oh, okay, the, so yeah. Okay, so is, is this like just hologram war room? Just like we're just yeah. right all in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys are mid hyperspace travel, and um, okay, all right, got you. And just each... sort of like within like I'd say within like five seconds, just sort of like like he just like finds it and just sort of like pulls up the map. It should be right here, and just sort of like points to the the ping the place where Kevin ping. Yeah, yeah. Given my knowledge of the the <clears throat> network. Would that be like the prisoner cells? Hmm. I'll roll, but I'll say yeah. Go ahead and roll you, intelligence because you, 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 you. It has been a, a quite a while, and you're trying to reverse engineer of like where is that place exactly? Sure, so, sure, sure. Um, just straight intelligence. Straight intelligence, yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'll say it's. Let me. You can say no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll say no. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, like the, like from what you remember, the sorcerer's uh, tunnels are very, very, um, sort of like, kind of like an anthill, just like it's very, like, yeah. delicately built. And it could be a number of things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then, and, and they're powerful I'm force users, so for all you know, that they may, might be able to rearrange the tunnels, like, on a way. Uh, yeah, move earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But oh, yeah. I yes. won't cool um okay well that could be any number of places but at least we know where so she it's is a good Jack start yes do you, do you think that you might be able to check that out Raz? yeah i can check there see what i can find out And, we'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah, and I'll say, like, uh, the war room door will open up as a Coltessi will sort of uh, step out and be like, whew, um, ah, and, like, he'll just sort of, like, just come over to you guys and be like, uh, hey, friend, uh, he, uh, Soren, was it? Um, you doing all right there? You seem to be, like, uh, sc more scared than a lost cat in a sarlacc pit. Yeah, uh, sorry, um, no, I'm, I'm fine, just... Bad gas. <clears throat> Make a deception check. <laughs> Can I, um, actually, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, never mind, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh my, a 30. However, <laughs> will he reach that? Oh, oh, God, I don't, oh, I don't see his plus 15 insight anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he's just like, well, good. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, uh Sorry, I, I, I didn't, this I guy. Didn't, oh, that's I right. Didn't. Chase hasn't really met Coltessi. Oh yeah. And oh Sor no. And Soren just, hasn't oh. either. Yeah. So he's just like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't get Pleasure introducing myself to you. Name's uh, Jess Coltessi, a uh, uh, recent graduate of Republic Flight Academy, admiral to your vendor, and looking to uh, make this mission a 100% success. Just, 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 just a quick shoot. Just, just Viper. Just sort of like a quick shoot over to just like, to just like Sheriff and just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I put his image uh, in um, image references. Uh, Chase, Fucking if you want to look just, at him. Just, just Jamon Houston from Guardians of the Galaxy. Just like who? <laughs> <laughs> well, Coltesi, uh, it's good oh, to meet you. Oh yes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah, it's good to meet you. I uh, appreciate your enthusiasm on this. Oh yeah, I mean this is this is quite a big operation. No, no Republic hasn't been sent over to this system in <laughs> wow, I can't even remember. Probably over a thousand years, it looks like. 
Yes. Oh, you've done your homework. I mean, this is far right in the outer rim, even for me, sir. Um, this is a... Uh, Republic cruisers don't exactly come out this deep into the outer rim. This is more uh, uncharted territory, shall we say. <laughs> well, um, blaze the path. Blaze the trail. Tra blaze the trail for, 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 for the rest of the Republic, why don't you, Coltesi? <laughs> well... And I'll, I'll, pa I'll pat him on the shoulder and um, walk back into the war room. All right. It'll just be like, uh, he'll like sort of war room open up and like he'll just motion everyone to like go in before him. Yeah, uh, Shuri goes in. Where's R7? <laughs> R7 is just like, is just uh, like, you can see him like at the controls of like the main ship and he just like slowly turns his head back again. But he'll give like a slow, a very slow thumbs up. Uh, indicating just like a, he's just like, Yay. Yay. <laughs> Are we cool? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and, uh, I thought it was more gonna be like, "Yay, help!" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as you guys uh, return back, Atharda will kind of look to you, Soren, being like, "I, be you are quite finished then, and ready to get back to business." Uh, yes. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Bad gas. Hmm. So, just to reiterate what you have discussed, you would like to deploy Raziel and his one of his Rough Rider compatriots to some point where they can stealth and scout the outskirts of the city, potentially grant uh, entryway into one of these tunnels, and get a lay of the land, and then we'll send the three of you and then bombard the planet once you've evacuated whatever civilians you can. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, hopefully our presence there will flush out some members of the sorcerers outside of the city for easy pickings, you know? And then put, it, uh, put a stop for the sorcerers once and for all. Hmm. We shall see. A bit too careful for my liking, but hopefully the strategy will pay off nonetheless. And, uh, and, uh, Punk Crow will sort of pipe up going like, And should the 99th pick up any, have any slack in the efforts, my men, Bakar and my men will ensure that we will be there to ensure there are no loose ends left. And, uh, Bruiser and, like, Sora are just like, with us to the end, boy. Just uh, give us the word, we can drop in and rain hell on those boys. And uh, Sor will just kind of uh, nod with her arms crossed. And, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, actually, Bruiser will be like, Say, uh, Sergeant, uh, uh, Sergeant Viper, you... Oh, right. I'm uh, sergeant now, God. <laughs> My little Promoting. boy got promoted. Promoted. Promotion. That's right. Uh, you never mentioned uh, who you flying down with. You can pick any one of us. We'll just. If it's an easy pickup, or would you like to take your own gunship down to the planet? Viper, Viper, just sort of like double takes a minute, just like, oh right, sergeant, just like, oh that's me, right? I'm, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> just double takes it. Oh right. Uh, Yes. Ah. Run that by me again. I can either take my own gunship or I can take someone else's gunship. Or basically they're offering to either you go in with like your own or like basically drop you off by yourself in your own gunship or you can fly in with um Sora or Bruiser, their gunships. And like Ooh, they'll have okay. like their own like little respective fleets, shall we say. Ooh. Ah. Like, like of escorts. But I'll say for the first part, they're like I was gonna yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Like. Yeah. For this first part, like, you guys are just wanting to fly in just by yourself, no backup, or would you be going in with your own squad and trying to sneak in that way, like with like um, cones backing you up in the rear? Let's get a. I feel like we don't know much about Jakku except the place where it is, and also just like we don't know what we got down there. I think like a lay of the land would be like scouting out ahead would be a good a good first sort of like uh, yeah ahead. Yeah, Raz is going to be dropped off first to scout ahead with uh, uh, oh, Lieutenant Brass. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, so we've okay, so he's ground force, and then I guess we're we're the air force. All right. Uh, 
Um. Yeah, and I'll uh, say if you. Fibers... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh yeah. Continue? No, 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 you continue. No, no, no. Yeah, I was going to say, um, if you guys have a specific point on the map you would like to be dropped, uh, just use the draw tool and like, draw a little X like in a, in your own respective color. So if you have a specific place you would like to land, just keep in mind that the distance is for every grid is uh, 300 feet. I might change it on the fly, at least like for for the sake of time and traveling and all that jazz. Cool. But, um, yeah. So, so if you have a specific place you'd like to land, just mark on there. Of course. For, of course. for reference, the shortest distance between each of the walls of this city is a little uh -huh. over two miles. Yowza. Okay. Um, let's, I think it might be best possibly drop off around here. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm 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 gonna listen to what everyone else has in mind, and then I can. Because like we'd be covered by something. brush. Uh, what is this uh this stuff right here? Oh yeah, you would know um Soren that uh that is like, there is a small factory uh, or a, a mine uh, if you will. Like this is a mining uh, town of uh, yeah. mining city of Zenatash, and like they okay. basically like take whatever, uh, refined grains or like specific like stones buried underneath all the sand and like can be refined into um uh diamonds and uh different uh sort of materials that you know be used for dubana gas cartridges or like all, all manner of um general goods and sometimes military but for the most part it's like diamonds and things uh jewelry yeah, it's things a, of nature. so it's a mineral refinement refinement facility yeah this yeah. i was gonna the say area, i saw to the southwest of it, um, tends to catch the fumes. Hmm. I was gonna say, I saw the little sarlacc right over there, and just like, like, just like, sorry, what are those? Oh, those are, oh, those are sarlacc sphincters. Do not get a whiff of those. <laughs> well, uh, Shiri, yeah, Shiri would be fine in that, because I have the Jedi cleansing ability, but in I don't know sarlacc? about anyone else. No, 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 oh. no, with the, with the toxic fumes and shit like that. Oh, I, I, I just, I just threw that in. I don't know if they're actually toxic. Are they're they, the Kev? Map. Are they, Kev? Um, the fumes, like. It's on the map, so I, I just assumed uh, that. It, it's more just like regular smoke. Like, it's generally, like, you know, it's generally good not to breathe in smoke. Yeah. It's not necessarily so, toxic, but it really all if, depends. Yeah. If that's, Sherry would bring up if he relays that information of the mining thing. Might be best to land within the fumes. Could just provide us cover, hide the ship for a bit. Could see a lot of approach. Exactly. Did yeah. he point out exactly like where the uh, the the entrances are? Yes, and yeah, yeah. like okay. yeah, and reminder, Talk yeah, like this. there's no uh, civilization, like m like yeah, there's no other yeah. cities like past but these, so you can we land were, there if, if you want. Yeah, so. If we had to land here, we'd be covered by the fumes, and we won't come across one of the entrances to the, to the uh, Sorcerer's Guild. So, it might be best. They won't see us coming. We get in safely. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. Yeah, and this, just out of character, this right here is where was the, um, oh, shit, wrong button. This right here is, like, the ping for where uh, Viker, Viper picked up that location with Soren's sister. Roughly, yeah. It's a bit okay. lower, but... Yeah, it's lower. around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm saying it's we land in the fumes. That way, it's like... You could possibly, like, you know, sneak off there. Yeah. And, or, like, go into it after yeah. you make the trek of the city. So that way, we're covered. Many people won't be able to see. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to be big brain general today. No, no, you're being very big brain. I'm just saying. This is good. No, this plan. is really good. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, look at you. Mm, and Thada will sort of like scratch her chin, being like, So, is the plan still that we're scouting ahead, or are you all going to land within the cover of this smog I'm and then. Scouts. I'm saying we, I'm saying we scout ahead. That might, that would be a perfect landing spot for the scouting party, or ourselves. 
Scouting Border could be a bit further away, if you prefer it that way, but it provides us good cover either way. We could, and then we can, and then we could start up the ruckus and get flush them out, and you can start your approach. Hmm. So very it, risky. My, might I, might, might I suggest something? I'm, I'm gonna draw on the map if that's cool. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so we'll, we'll land somewhere here. Um, give. Oh, that looks like a pokeball. That was awesome. <laughs> 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 We'll, la we'll land somewhere there and give us a bit of concealment and be able to sneak into the base of operations underground, cause a bit of a ruckus, and hopefully flush them out of these points here. And I'll po point at the uh, I'll point at the maps and, and everything. If you station your bombing run to start from the north and head downward, their forces would be led naturally towards these hills and potentially the Salak pits where... If you station snipers on out on the what's it called the gor something gorge? Uh, the runaway gorge. The runaway gorge. You'll have, you'll trap them into a natural funnel. And if you have someone watching the port over here, with all the with all the ships, anyone trying to escape, you can verify whether or not they're civilians. Go ahead and make me a persuasion check. Okay. Would I be able to like help him with? I mean, I'll say, I'll, I'll say the DC is quite a bit lower with all the um, chat going on, uh, or okay. at least like with all the suggestions. Okay. But yeah, we'll say that uh -huh. you've helped because he already has a high ass persuasion. So <laughs> I lowered the DC twenty three. Ah, twenty three. Okay. <laughs> and of Thank course, you. they're not going to leave the gorge because of the implication. <laughs> but, yeah, she'll kind of like slowly start. This is the first time you've ever seen Tharda crack a smile. And she goes, hey. Very clever. Hey. Pongkrell, do you think you and your forces can sustain uh, sniper cover in this area? And um, you know, but Makar will sort of step going, I got the best snipers in the core, ma'am. And she'll, uh, and Sora will step going, Sora will step in being, the 99th has some pretty substantial ones as well. Um, Soren, I believe you do remember Midnight. She is on board as well. And is ready to if you have any specific instructions as for who who she can who the snipers can and should not target, then you're best to notify them in the other sniper regiments. Sure. Sure, definitely. I remember who Midnight is. It's been forever since we seen Midnight. It was like on a. Yes. Oh, yeah, it was on a Shiri's the... planet. Yeah, not yeah. It was oh, Ryloth. Wow, wow, the, Ryl the Ryloth. Damn. Damn. The Ryloth arc. Yeah. <laughs> Ages. Right. And a uh, Crow sort of type uh, come and being like, and should we capture anyone alive? Um, or <laughs> should any surrender willingly? What's the strategy there? We do have juggernauts if more firepower is needed, but once they approach on the battlefield, it will be difficult to, um, sneak up on them once they have arrived. They are rather loud vehicles, after all. And once it all kicks off, all hedges are all bets are off. You, I suggest we stick to whatever code of war that you have subscribed to when it comes to capturing prisoners. An ugly, uh, the ugly, ugly product of war, but a lot of smarter people than myself have thought through these things. And Soren will shrug. If anyone hmm. seems, uh, if anyone seems suspicious enough, if they are to surrender, question them. Hmm. Is not there a uniform? Pause. Is there? Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. There you go. It's okay. Kev, is there a uniform that peeps would uh would have adhered to? Uh, not particularly. It's more of just okay. like a hand, a, a signal that they give each other. Okay. Just kind of like, basically, specifically, it's like a like a double pat on the left pec and then sliding down towards the uh, bottom right hip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's kind of as a like a general like you know stay sharp and like you know stay on your guard protect yourself pretty much. Got it. 
but yeah. Um, I'm, I'll teach that to folks just just in case. Okay. Yeah. In case it comes in handy. Yeah, you have a couple days. I'll say you can teach it to the people who you know are going to be yeah. part of the the shinies who will be a part of the mission. Um, I'll say I'll also give them like pro character profiles on on Quill capture alive if possible. Um, Grandmaster, um, extremely dangerous. <laughs> Do not leave alive. Um, <laughs> okay. And, and I guess if if um, any of the what's it called lieutenants um, are particular, I don't because I I don't me myself the person speaking um, doesn't remember or doesn't know who the uh, the lieutenants are. But I would Soren. Uh, Soren, the only one you would know was the Mandalorian with the broken mask who you met on, uh, on Skako Minor. Cool. Then I'll relay that information as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I'm assuming you mentioned the two-headed dragon that they have. They do have a two-headed dragon. Okay. <laughs> and, like, at that mention, like, uh, some of the clones will just kind of, like, look at each other and I challenge like, Bloody track, and how the hell are we gonna kill something that massive? I mean, just shoot it in the head. But <laughs> heads. And like, yeah, the snipers be like, <laughs> and like, like a hydra. yeah, and like one of them like raising like, get up on the hydra's back. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, one of the clones like raising hand, be like, is there a particular preference of which head to shoot first? The one attacking you. That is, I, I shouldn't have asked that. I'll, I'll just sit back down. And you just like go back and like <laughs> <laughs> sort of like just like shell in a little bit, and um, but yeah, that, that's like the after this meeting. Literally the equivalent of just shoot the cyber demon until it dies. <laughs> <laughs> when do I stop? When it's dead. When it's dead. <laughs> yeah. Duh. And yeah. Dingus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and a punk roll also chime in, be like, any special assignments for? Myself and my Padawan. Or would you rather I kick, stay in the wings until uh, your help, you need any of my assistance? Um, I think, uh, do you think that we could use them? Or would, you, would you want to, uh... Oh, we could definitely use them. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should come with us. <laughs> I, rec I request that you can actually come with us when we infiltrate the planet. Really? I'm not exactly the... <laughs> As he just kind of, like, uh, gestures to his whole self, like, I'm not exactly a slender individual. It's going to be a little difficult to get around quietly for myself, but if you so wish... I'll handle it. All right. And, uh, and what of my Padawan in <laughs> yours, if I may ask? Oh. D Gig was actually going to come with me, because I believe that she was ready for a mission such as this. She has us to protect her if something were to go awry, and I'm pretty sure that she could also handle herself quite well. If you would wish for your Padawan to come along with us, they are more than welcome. Hmm. Perhaps it might be best to as the illegal sort of port off point off to uh another uh and to this entrance right over here. We do have at least one gunship on my end. We could reconvene over at some point underground once we have verified that the civilians are cleared and we can deal with any individuals beneath the surface. Alright. Sounds like a good plan. We'll split off. We'll meet at a good point underground. And we'll begin our infiltration. And uh, like I'll say, as as all this is going on, like like the uh, Caltesi is just trying very hard to like keep his composure together. He's just like so excited at the mention of just like <laughs> I get to launch all these <laughs> gunships. Fan boy. Wait, yeah. I added I added Brad. something to my sound deck now that uh he's here. What in the wide wide world of sports is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Coltessy. Such a sweet boy. Yeah, but um. There's a snake in my boot. God <laughs> bless the fucking sound library. Boot. But yeah, um. So yeah, you guys. Uh and uh. 
uh, Tharda will sort of look to you, Viper, and going, um, so you will be... Are you in agreement with this tactic, uh, Sergeant? Sounds pre it's pretty sound to me. Hmm. And I'd say pre make preparations of your... Notify your squad of any preparations, pass the word of anything vital that they need to know. This planet is still unmarked territory and is... We are heading into uncharted waters. Of course, Captain. That I'm is Commander to, uh, to you. Commander! Commander! Sorry, it's been a day. <laughs> Jet lag. And, like, she'll nod. <laughs> and, uh... Be like, Is there anything else before we adjourn the war room meeting? She'll just kind of look around. Everyone else seems to be silent across. I think we kind of covered everything, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Jerry just looks right at her and she's just... <clears throat> Everything's, everything seems to be clear and in order right now. Alright then. Dismissed. And uh, <laughs> all the clone, like, the captains will, like, log off. And, uh, as will, like, Ponkrell, Bakara. And, uh, till it's just, like, uh, then Commander Tharda will, like, look to Coltess and be like, Resume as you were, Admiral, and go, go, and you'll you'll continue on. We got about a thirty par six to go, ma'am. We should be there within forty, just a little over forty-eight hours. And she'll go. Very good. I'll leave you to your duties. I will discuss more with my uh, superiors back on Coruscant as how the mission is going. Uh, right away, ma'am. And uh, yeah, they're kind of going back to their own things. And uh, what are the rest of y'all doing? I kind of want to just, I want to train with Dige just to make sure that she's doing okay and she's ready for this. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, I'll say you find Dige, like, you know, um, she's just kind of like, mo like, she's just kind of like walking about in the Venator. This is like her first time really in one or exploring it. And you just kind of find her like wandering, like going throughout the mess and uh, you like see her and like you just kind of start off her moment. Oh, Master, um, I'm terribly sorry that I wasn't waiting back in my quarters. I've never been in a ship this massive before. You don't have to apologize. It's it's a lot. I I would do the same thing as you if I were, if I was at your age. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, this is all very new and exciting. Um, I uh, I hope I can do what I can to make you proud on this mission. You always do. And, uh, did you want to, uh, is there something you wanted to touch on before we, uh, make our way over there? I do wish to train with you again, just to ensure that you're ready for this. Oh, um, if yes. that is doable. Um, um, yes, um, as, uh, as long as time permitted, I can, um, speak to Raz, of course. Oh, Starling, don't worry. <laughs> Good. I'll see you in the barracks, and we'll go for a few quick rounds. Right. All see right. you there. Yeah, and are, this is what you're doing the whole time, or are you just like, this is like the first um, day? So this is like the first day. Okay. Second day will probably be dedicated, like, um, obviously she'll give time after, like, their training <clears throat> session for her to go see Raz. Mm -hmm. Second day with her would definitely be making sure that she's caught up in what they're doing. Oh, yeah. So, okay, that's well, really it. All right, yeah, so go ahead and make me, uh, yeah, just five d 20 rolls then. Let's hope for this again, baby. Come on, Come D-Gig. On. Come Let on, D-Gig. That's good. That's one d20. Hold on. Yeah, you can just roll, roll the, other the other four on the advanced yeah. roller. All right, you can add another combat uh, prowess thing nice. to your list. Nice, yes, sir. Ah. All right, let's see how. Huh? So yeah, the total is sixty-two. Okay, and D guys, oh my god! Oh, Ooh, yes! That's big. So for That's the big. Big. There so, you go. So Mama's big. so proud. So for the first time. When? In... Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll say yeah. yeah when... Like, you... oh sorry. Uh... So. As soon as, like, you know, Diga is actually catching up to Shiri, she's immediately, like, taken aback. She's like, 
very good Padawan. She's like, you know, at blocking everything that she can. That yeah. four that she rolled is definitely like where it's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it starts off rather small, but then slowly is like getting better and better. She's like making, um, she's like doing like these like pirouettes and like she's using like the environment to like sort of like gain uh, the high ground and like sort of like she like flip over you and like kick you down the ground like have the saber like at you and uh or like it's very like neck and neck and uh it, right. it's i'll say it's a still draw we'll do it one more time see if we can have a clear win yeah. clear winner but let's see come on come on for come once on. shiri like don't roll so fucking high come on Oh, oh! 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 Yeah, with like that nat one, good. Good. Yeah. Ooh, she'll like yes. come from, Yeah, with that nat Let's one, go. she'll sort of like give you like a, like sort of like as like you're like swinging like with these. Uh, Fuck, you're yes, still adjusting baby. to the tonfas and like how like how much more mobility you have compared to the staff, uh, the double saber, and then she'll sort of like trip your footing and then like have the saber at your chest, and uh, and then she'll sort of like uh, switch it off like and do a little flip and like um, chuck it in her side and be like. And I believe that is a point for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, like she uh, unsheaths the sabers and like sets them back on our sides before she extends a hand. Yeah, and she will shake it and being like, um, I uh went back to some old tapes of um Yuck Tool's teachings, and she was he was very adamant that. I notice at least one flaw in his style is the <laughs> legs tend to be a rather weak point while you are focusing on top, so something to keep in mind. A lesson from myself to you for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that in mind, my battle one. All right. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll say you, you don't have to, yeah, like, we'll, you relay everything to her and she'll just be up to date as far as her yeah. uh, thing in the plan. Um, but yeah. cool. And I think, like, before, like, they finish and all that stuff, uh, Shiri will, uh, you know, grant her, like, you know, good job and everything. Now, off you go to Raz. I'm pretty sure he's eager to see you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he is. <laughs> and, uh, she'll... Ask my wing mom. <laughs> and she'll make your way over to Raz, but before we get to him, Viper, Ooh. anything you're up to while you're like in talking to the troops at all, or anything yeah. you're saying to like sort of inspire your brothers and sisters? Oh right, yeah. Again, that's God. Oh my God. Wow, that's yeah. responsibility. Oh yeah, Crate Squad I is also that. here. If you just want to talk to Viper, <gasps> Crate Squad. Yeah, my babies. Oh yeah. my children. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. So okay. So it's crate squad, Sora, Bruiser, and the rest of freaking uh, Plot. Not no Plot. Uh, the 99th. Other. F no other four armed boys. Uh, 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 Punk crawls. Yes. But yeah, Punk they're, crawl, thank yeah, they're, you, yeah thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah, the retcon. Um, <clears throat> on yeah. this ship is like one third of the 99th. Uh, Sora. No, wait, and Patch is on here, and on the other ships are Sora, Bruiser. And Pongrel and Bakar on their own with the Galactic Marines. They're on, they're on their own gotcha. little acclimator, so they're like more like carrying just extra troops that might be needed. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Okay. So I didn't make my proper decision as to what um my plans up 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 above was. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm gonna go over to um I'm gonna go over to um to Sora. Okay. Oh yeah. I'll say you have to like make a call to her because she's on the other vendor. And, oh right. Uh, yeah, she'll be like, uh, uh, yeah, just get that on the horn. And goes like, Viper, you asked for me. Sora, I made. Uh, I'm, you. She was present at the at the pres She was present at the war room thing, right? Yeah, she was. Okay. Um, I did some thinking over with the plan, and I think we're gonna need some eyes in the sky for this one. So, I'm gonna need you for. I'm gonna need you for aerial recon on for this mission. Already ahead of you. We've got my jet troopers uh, will be ready to descend once we have the all clear from the general. Or would you be flying? Will you be flying with us as we drop you down on the planet? I'll be alongside you. It may it may be my first mission. It may be my first mission as as sergeant, but still, I want to keep. It, I want I want us to be close together. Make sure that everything goes goes smooth sailing. Of course, I'll come over my gunship and pick you up 
once we are given the all clear. Draw to that. I'll see you then. All right. Then that all cease. Anything else you're doing before we head and off to something else? And he's just sort of like still just like trying to take just trying to take it all in, just like Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Crip, I was not expecting a promotion. This is close in my life. <laughs> and he's going to Crate Squad. What are what are these shinies up to? Yeah, I'll say like they're all like getting in like their desert sort of armor. It's basically like the yeah. what? It's like regular shine. Yeah, it's more so like uh, just regular like like it has more of a camo style over it, but there's still the lingerings of um, gunmetal gray and purple throughout. But it is mostly like a sand uh, variation on the armor. Nice. Yeah, nice. and all the shinies look, uh, all, all the normal clones will look like this as you guys are making prep. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Bruce, um, who, uh, Feros will kind of look to go and goes like, Hey, Viper, good to see you again. Heard you got a shiny new promotion there, Sarge. Yeah, so, uh, that I have, that I have. I'll be honest, I'm still trying to process it, but how's you and the rest of the squad holding up, up today? And uh, I need to pull up who I need to pull up NPCs because it's been a while since I've went to use fucking crate squad. Um, ah, I believe I have. Uh, uh, no, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I there have. Go. Yeah. I'm getting up. Tag bones, Faros, and jet. Yes. And entry. And entry. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yes. Tag. Uh. No. Jet. Jet. The leader will sort of a step and being like um, we've been uh, making preparations as ordered. Um, I must put on the. All points bulletin warning that to for troops to be ready to deploy at a moment's notice. Um, did you need, uh, did you need, what did you need of myself and the squad? Just check, just follow, just follow everything, think, think to the plan as per usual. If anything pops up, I'll let you, I'll let you all know. Unless, it may be my first day as sergeant, but the one thing I want, I don't want to do is make any, uh, just mess up. And uh, entry will sort of pipe up being like, are you positive you don't at least want me to come along? If a hole needs to be blown open, then I'm your clone. Entry? Yeah. He just sort of like... He, he mulls that over and just sort of like... Not, a ba not bad thinking. All right. Entry, you're with me. Oh. Oh. I didn't think it'd be that easy. And uh, you're sort of like... Excited to meet this, to touch down on this Jakku. I've studied a fair bit of it, but then again, there's not much on the holonet of a place this far in the outer rim. Studying, studying your, studying your map is one thing. Actually, getting out there and experience what it's like out there—that's <laughs> completely, that's completely, completely different. Yeah, and uh, uh, Tag will sort of uh, chime in, being like, "And I assume the rest of us, you'll want to." Wait in the wings before we get the all clear to go in guns blazing. Precisely. And like fair asses, they'd be like, oh, oh, it's gonna be a hell of a wait. And it's, Bones will just try to be like, it's all right, fair ass. You'll get your chance soon as the Sarge gives us the all clear. It's classic, it's classic com commando mindset. If we just go in guns blazing, the enemy would notice right there. Get a good lay at the land. And then we get to jump right on them. And like Pharos will just be like, oh, all right. And like she'll kind of like just go back to like cleaning up her rifle. And Bones will look to you being like, she's just eager for a little action. She can't it's stop going on about that test you gave her and how much fun it was. And she's all excited to just blast up something that's not a clanker. I don't blame her. I was pretty gung. Me, me and my brothers were pretty gung ho in our first mission. Well, but nonetheless, stay here until 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 necessary. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. And like all of them will like follow suit, and uh, they'll like, yeah, we'll give salutes to you as, uh, yeah, as you will walk out. Salute. Unless there's anything else salute you want to say to them. And he and he salutes back, and just uh, yeah, walks out with um entry. <laughs> I'm right. guessing. Yeah, and she <coughs> will go along with you, and uh, we. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and we'll see after that. Uh, Soren, anything you're doing while there's on the 
coming days of your trek. Yeah. Um I I think uh Soren will practice close quarters combat shooting. Okay. Um because he knows like being underground and all that stuff he's not he, he needs the he's good at the long range but like close quarters it's mm -hmm. he needs more he, he he wants to be in tip top shape for for this especially with his sister on the line for sure so yeah so go ahead and make me you're going down to the firing range and you'll see like other clones there just like getting ready with their usual weapons and you bring over your new and improved uh bad news with the extended mag and like some of the clones are like ooh and ah at the uh charges that you uh have acquired for it um but yeah, yeah go ahead and make me five d20 rolls please okay ooh. let's see ah it's ooh, five fives uh three fives in a row <laughs> god oh, uh... <laughs> that's fives I'm heavy, and this is Echo. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, fives across the board. It is, yeah, like you have it like set to like super close range, and it's just, it is really hard for you to even like strike those, uh, strike those targets. And yeah. And like one of the clones will like chime in, like just one of the shinies being like, hey, uh, the idea is to have the target be out of your range, you know? Well, see, that's the thing. I was teaching you how not to shoot. Now here's how you properly shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have a response to that, Zorin? Uh, I'll... Yeah, he's like... Oh, Zorin will just go. Oh, yes, I know. Sorry, just... Something's on my mind. Oh, well... Clear it up if you can. You can't exactly go into a battle with a clouded head. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself, uh... In a... <laughs> Well, in the bag heading home for Coruscant. Or wherever hmm. else it is that you desire to be left to your own devices. And I'll look at him. Just be like, you know, sometimes there are a lot more on the line than that. Oh, well. I'm sorry, it's just... I don't know much else. Don't know much else on the line aside from the Republic. And... It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We, it's just a bad day. I'll, I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. And I'll leave. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll leave, um, pull up the data pad, and then just send back um, a question mark. Oh, back to... to, uh... back, to back to Celia. And, uh... She'll, uh... It'll take a little while to respond. I'll say it's almost, I'll say it's like maybe like in the late hours, like the night right before you guys are entering Jakku space. And it'll say something to the effect of, I was so worried. I tried coming back for you when you weren't here, but I just, I was so worried for you, brother. Just make haste and come for me as soon as you can. I don't have much time left. I'll send back. You said you said I get this the day before we land or the night before we land. The night before, yeah. Like, uh, like you can be, you can. It's like sink like t less than twelve hours is when. You, less than twelve hours. Less than twelve okay. hours before you pro you reach Jakku is when you get this message. Yeah. I'll send back. We'll get there just over 24 hours from now. Good. Be safe. The the Grandmaster and all his allies are very powerful. I don't respond. <clears throat> I'm a little mad at her. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. And that's your two days? Yeah, I guess. Unless anyone needs, needs Soren for anything. Um... He's a, open to, to be approached. Mm -hmm. Anyone then? That, Doors open. What's Raz doing with DK? Yeah. 
Yeah, what are these? How do you say? <laughs> like, I assume. Like, what are these? The what are these? What are these mischief makers up to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, matchmakers still love it. Um. We're we're we're. we're yeah, like going so, to Raz now or uh, like yeah, I was just like la last call if anyone wanted to talk to Soren before you guys reached. Uh, you know, I think I think Raz would approach Soren at some point. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Floor is yours. He kind of wants to then. check up. Uh, yeah, just any time over the course of our travel, he just finds Soren um, somewhere. I assume it's easy to find him. Mm -hmm. And he'll kind of slowly approach until he just stops right next to you, kind of leaning against uh, the wall or something. Mm -hmm. So, um... How are you holding up with all this? I mean, I'm as well, I, I think as well as anyone else would, right? Hmm. That's I mean, fair. I imagine this was, this is what Viper was feeling right before we went to go save Nova. Right, we saved Nova, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope we did. Yeah, I sure hope it did. I died. Oh yeah, I, I'm ho I sure hope it wasn't a hallucination of her in that I whole sure hope scene it wasn't a, just last week. I sure uh, hope I it wasn't a fucking scenario where we just saved another random clone. <laughs> I mix up all of the clone names, so I just want Don't to make sure worry. it wasn't. I'm the DM, and I do it all the time. So Plot twist. yeah. Plot twist, we ended up saving Cypher Diaz instead, and Grove <laughs> was the one. Oh, was no. <laughs> but yeah, you, yeah, go on. Yeah, so I, I <laughs> imagine this is how Viper was feeling right before we rescued Nova. Yeah. He seems to be holding it together fine. Neil. Oh, yeah, well, the face. Somewhat. I mean, as much as he could during the circumstances. Well, there you go. But... I'm holding it together as well as I can, given the circumstances. But... He was in a lot of pain as well. As I imagine you are. Yeah. I'm just, it, it's... I'm so, so conflicted. She wanted about... to keep me safe and she left me with those people. I don't know if she, what she was thinking or if she knew what was going to happen. <sighs> and then she says she's going to come she's come back is this before or after i got that message back i'll say this is before before okay so i'm waiting on that message okay then yeah why couldn't she just take me with her you know of course i want to save her and and rescue her and be reunited with my sister my family But what was so difficult about having me around that she needed to leave me with them? Did she think she was weak? She was the strongest person I knew. I don't know. It's... It, it's getting in my head. Hmm. I can't say I have any clear answers on that. And, and that's fine. I don't expect any, but... I don't know your sister, but I know family can do things, maybe irrational things, if it means keeping their family safe. Maybe, maybe she did it for a reason. What reason, I don't know, but... If she cares, if she still cares about you, to have gotten you out of Scylla, that mess, there must still be something there. I don't doubt that there's something there. 
just uh, I think I'm frustrated because I realized I don't understand a lot of what happened. And that is frust that that's annoying. That's annoying. Why why didn't why, why couldn't she just explain it to me? I was young, but I wasn't I wasn't naive. I, at least, sorry, Raz, I'm asking you questions as if you would have answers. The, the, this is just what I'm thinking. You asked me how I was doing, and these are the thoughts that are running through my head. <sighs> Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Don't worry, you have nothing to apologize on that end. If our roles were reversed, I'd probably feel just as conflicted. And that's fair. Maybe. Thank you. Whatever happens on Jakku, we'll do everything we can to find her. And I know. I hope you can get your answers then, directly from her. Mm. And I'm sure if you explain everything you've told me just now, that she'll come forward. But she'll give you the truth. And let's let's hope we get to that point then. <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing here, talking to me? You have Degeg is out there waiting for you. <laughs> what? What? what I, can't, I know. I can't. What? I can't worry about my friend. I, I know. Just. <laughs> You don't. You you hardly get to sp spend time with get to spend time with D Gag. Yeah. You spend time with me all the time. I'm yeah. fine. I'm. I'll be. I'll be okay. Once we're once we're in it, I'll be here. I'll I'll be present. All right. I'll hold you to that then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on D Gag now. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Stay strong, Zoran. And he walks away. All right. And yeah, I'll say for your. Uh... Oh, hold on. Just trying to reposition the other camera I'm working with here. Um. Uh, yeah. So, are you just gonna go to the? Anything else aside from going with the rough ride, talking to the rough riders in D gig, you want to do? Um, not really. Yeah, I just want to talk to. Besides D gig, I just want to talk to Brass, kind of fill him in on the plan. Okay. On what we strategize, just fill him in on everything, all that, what to expect. Uh, and uh, yeah. All right. That's pretty much all he's doing. Okay, so yeah, I'll say you find a, a brat, Lieutenant Brass, just relaxing where the other bark speeders and some other ATRTs are parked within the Venator ship, and you guys are, like, you just kind of catching talking amongst, like, you know, the other Rough Rider members, and this guy goes like, all right. Yeah. And he just kind of notices you as he's going, all right, oh, give me a ten, guys. I need to talk with him for a second, and he'll just walk over to you, like, helmet off, and, uh... Just like, yeah, he's looking, you know, pretty well put together, like, in, like, sort of, like, the slightly, like, the camo armor. Yeah, he he's still wearing his typical uh, scout armor uh, for this. Okay. But, yeah, he'll cool. just, just be like, oh, Raz, you uh, wanted to see me? Yeah, I just wanted to give you a pretty quick debrief on what the plan is, what to expect, since we'll be the first to touch down. Uh, yeah. And he'll basically uh, just kind of relay everything from that meeting. And after that, he'll go, so that's basically the gist of it. We'll be landing as the scouting team. Hmm. Interesting. 
lot of a lot of gambles you're putting on there, kid. It is, but our gambles have usually gone pretty well so far. Hmm. This one shouldn't be any different. We'll see how close you can get. We'll see how uh, the initial landing goes, and we'll improvise should uh, things get out of hand. He'll sort of like tap on his uh, vibro lance he has tucked in on his uh, on his speeder. Yeah, and he'll he'll smirk and just go. <laughs> Hopefully, there won't be too many surprises. <laughs> uh, anyone else joining us on the? Scouting, or is it just you and me? I believe it's just going to be us. All right. You bring uh, Dust along and uh, someone else to sort of bring up our rear. Just to at least fill up the gunship we'll be going in. <laughs> Sounds good. Then you and me will be at the front. Yes, indeed. Looking forward to see how you handle that speed in a real fight. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. <laughs> now, get out of here. We'll see what we'll see what those uh, four hundred hours. That's when we'll be prepping for takeoff. Yes, sir. He gives a salute, right. and he'll yeah. Unless Brass has anything else to no, uh, that'll add, that'll be he'll, it. He'll, he'll walk off. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I'll say yeah for like the day prior. After, like, D-Gag has had her training with uh, Shiva, and you'll sort of run into, like, she'll kind of, like, run into you looking for you, and you just kind of, like, awkwardly, like, bump into each other and be like, Oh, Raz! Uh, just, uh... uh D-Gag! Hey, yeah, mm, yeah, just the just, man I wanted to see. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for you as well. Yeah, this, um, this big ship. <laughs> it's, it is. You can easily get lost in it. Yeah. Um... Uh, is there a place you'd rather want to talk, or... And she'll I... kind of, like, pull you off into, like, this sort of, like, corner, and, like, just quickly, like, kiss you on the lips, very passionately. <laughs> and he'll reciprocate. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, getting out of the eye of clones that just barely missed it. Yep. <laughs> He like he like gets pulled away, like shocked, and then when she kisses him, he he reciprocates just as much. Yeah. And then after that, she'll like sort of punch you in the arm. <laughs> I can't. Is this gonna be a recurring thing? Well, we're going on a dangerous mission, and I know how I know how you like to be reckless, boy. <sighs> I'm mm. trying. Hmm? Mm. Okay. Trying to work on it, but you're right. <sighs> Good. Just be safe. This is a new planet for both of us. I know. I will. And, uh, so sort of pull out the amulet that you gave her and being like, and she'll just sort of, uh, she'll like actually like put it on and be like, for good luck. <laughs> For good luck. <sighs> and he'll kind of, uh, he'll like behind his robes. He'll show off the uh, the other amulet he has on him. Mm -hmm. Glad you kept it. Yes. Looks good on you. <laughs> She'll kind of like twirl her uh, head tentacles a little bit. Thank you. And, uh, you don't look so bad yourself all in the new armor, and, uh, <coughs> white suits you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't, well, obviously I'm not a Jedi, nor a Sith, so felt like different colors suited me more. Somewhere in the middle. Indeed, it's... And she'll kind of, like, run her arm along your bicep. It's, uh... It is quite a good look for you. But... I wish we could have more time to each other and... Time to ourselves and not in this conflict. 
just <sighs> be back in the archives, just reading the history of Jedi for hours on end. And she'll kind of retrace the side of your biceps and, yeah, just keep doing that for a little while. So do I. There are rare moments of peace and tranquility. These missions in this war are important to save lives, but yeah, I do wish we had more time to ourselves. And she'll kind of like get like slide her hand into yours and like just hold it gently and be like, well, if as long as you get yourself and I keep myself in one piece, perhaps Perhaps you can treat me to a nice ride around Coruscant, and we can get away, have it, find a nice little corner to ourselves. No, no drill sergeants, no clones, no Jedi, no, no masters. Just you and me, and Galactic City to look, to uh, gaze upon. And she'll kind of like hold your other hand and like bring it close to her chest. And, yeah, he'll he'll hold back and just kind of embrace her a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't like the sound of that. And Be the uh, date I promised you back then. <laughs> you are a man of your word, and I intend to hold you to it. <laughs> don't intend to break it. She'll, like, give, a, give one last, like... Touching her forehead with yours before giving one uh, final kiss. And, uh, like, one of the other riders will sort of, like, you just hear uh, dust from the back going, like, Hey, Rez, uh, need to make final preps for your uh, speed up. There's anything you need. <laughs> and, like, like and he, doesn't, then... <laughs> he doesn't see you. Like, you just hear, like, off in the corner, and Diga just goes, Okay. <laughs> it sounds and then like he'll get out there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Stay safe. <laughs> you too. And, uh, you, she'll, like, go off in another direction, and, uh, Dust will be like, Ah, there you are! Come on! And, the speeder's not gonna fix he, itself! And, and he just, just kind of yeah, composes ahead. himself and faces Dust. All right! Preparations to do? Let's get to it. All right, and uh, I'll say with that, you guys are like on the final hours, like like five. Uh, I'll say like final two three hours of the hyperspace trip, and um, uh, Admiral Coltesi will call you, Sherivan, off into the bridge. Okay. Yep. And, and she'll be, and he'll be like, um. Uh, General, um, I don't usually make requests like this, but it is my first time getting acclimated to your, uh, 99th Battalion, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he'll sort of, like, gesture over to, like, the speaker system, being like, I think the boys might, uh, the gr guys oh, yeah, and gals yeah. might appreciate if you had some words of encouragement. Okay. <laughs> yep, um, oh, fuck, they're all standing there, aren't they? Oh no! It's uh, I'll say I'll say Tharda and Patch are like looking there, but like it's more so just like there's like a loudspeaker device. Ah. It'll go to everywhere on the ship, so the whole party, all the clones, crew, everybody will hear this, uh, whatever you say. Okay. Oh lord, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was like, was not ready. It's like that speech in oh, Mass Effect One, <laughs> just right off the cuff. <laughs> ah shit. Uh, you can choose not to. He's just giving you the option. No, it. It. Okay. <laughs> Sherry would step forward and she would kind of like clear her throat. Just. <sighs> I'm going to be 100% honest with all of you. Speeches aren't my thing. But. Don't fucking laugh at me, don't you, motherfuckers. <laughs> 
that was that was that was not that was not that was not. I was not was not, not laughing character. at you. That was not in character. That was not in character. I was just no, yeah, okay. no, it wasn't. It was no, not. not. I'm not going to no, be breaking it, during this speech. It, it, yeah, it's right. just, this it, is just the idea of just sort of like a one clone stickering. Just like don't fucking laugh at me. I'm <laughs> 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 sure you immediately hears a sticker. Don't. Don't. Yeah, just like you just give like a mom, <laughs> mama bear eyes at them and just sort of like stand at attention, bitch. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What's your, de what's your destination, trooper? Um, C uh, uh, CT one four five. Your bitch now. <laughs> your name. I, no, congratulations, you've now been given a name, bitch. Um, but Shiri, she kind of laughs into the mic. But we are here in order to ensure the safety of both Republic space and perhaps the entire the entire fate of the war ahead of us. We are not to harm any civilians. That is our main mission. We are only to harm to take care of the sorcerers we were sent sent here for. We all have a duty to protect Republic space, protect the people around us. And we will not give up that duty to- Be aware of your surroundings, gentlemen. Be aware of everyone you come in contact with on this mission. There's no telling what we could come across. May the Force be with all of us. Go ahead and make me a general charisma check. Oh, you motherfucker. Come on, come on. Wait, God. hold on. Do I have? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait. Oh, no, nah, it wouldn't work. All right, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. That, that, that's good. That's okay. good. Uh, yeah. Cav. Mm -hmm. Mother. <laughs> I'll say like, everyone hears this message. I'll say the other members like, Thor will kind of like just. Not approvingly, not like taken aback by it or patches. Well, just stand there and attention. Not if I have anything to say about it. Uh, I've already. What? Uh. To say about it. Twitch, like Twitch, chat. Twitch chat, Twitch chat. Look, ooh, look. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, you have. Uh, I'll say. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll say you have. Uh, you have. You can reroll. Let's, Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. That's better. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. That's. Thora. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, Tharda looks a little bit more impressed. I'll, I'll say, like, throughout, like, the ship, um, every, whoever else is, like, nearby any clones, you notice that there's a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more, like, you know, less uncertainty, less hesitation and fear in their voices, and, like, the chatter is, like, starting to mumble into, like, more, like, in that of excitement, like, alright, this is a new world, we're gonna beat up whoever is just, like, causing this trouble, and we're gonna win this for everyone back home and like there's just like a general air of excitement and it's yeah it's it's more so it's you've managed to shrug off um okay. their fear and i'll say with that everybody including you uh, sherry ven you all get your charisma modifier and temp hp Ooh, that's big yeah and this will be on Ooh. top of what you get from the aura oh. as well so less yeah 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 Plus what? One, uh, one thirty-nine HP. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah. So, with all of that being said, as you guys <laughs> come out of hyperspace, the three ships, your three Venators, and Pong Krell's acclimator, as he begins to go off in the opposite direction to make make his way to the uh, where he'll be landing and placing his guns by the canyons. We're gonna go take a break. <laughs> so, uh, nice. Yeah, we'll be nice. Back. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Woo. I didn't entirely um, mentally prepare for the strategy y'all came up with. <laughs> so I mm. need to go make some tokens. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. we're just gonna have a quick ten minute break. If, we do if we this might. every time. Kev. <laughs> I know you do. And I, I think I think it's better to just not have a plan. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Yeah. That way you don't expect you just don't don't expect anything from us. Carry nothing <laughs> into the drift. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not going to be what you expect. <laughs> oh yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll we'll give it a we'll give it a nice even ten, maybe a little bit more, as I need to put things together. 
Look, cool. Gina, I, I swear. <laughs> exactly. It's unless Expect it's, the unexpected. I tried, I tried, I tried guys, the unexpected. guys, guys, this is the, as a DM, I cannot help but be surprised because you guys are fucking geniuses. Well, meanwhile, I'm working with Goldfish Brain. It's just like, oh, yeah, there's only one way these we, guys can come we in. Don't. But yeah, but yeah, we'll be back in 10 minutes. Just stay right there. We'll be back in just a moment. All right.
we have returned. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I missed that one. Yeah, you oh guys missed some uh, Patreon content that was a little. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I, was, you know, I am so happy that Christian and Toddy got it. I'm so happy about that. Yeah, I, I I'm just unaware just because I'm low key like mentally doing gymnastics as to like. How the fuck am I gonna? How the fuck am I gonna win over you guys today? How the fuck am I gonna do this? Uh, yeah. It's still my favorite uh, Parks and Rec blooper. It's, it's the best one. It's so good. It, it well, is. so. <laughs> God damn it! Continuing. I'm gonna watch that right now. Go ahead. <laughs> continuing from where we left off. Uh, Shirvan, you just made your speech to the clones, like. Patch will like sort of give you like you know a solid clap. He enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. he liked yeah. it. Yeah, thought it will kind of like look to him being like, like it wasn't that good, or <laughs> like in the eyes. I've seen better. What got into your fucking cereal, Jesus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but and cereal. Tessie's just like you want to come up. You want to come up here and make a speech? Yeah. Okay. How tall? How middle. tall is she again? How tall is this girl uh, again? Average clone height. What is the average clone Which height? Which is... I six forgot. 6'2"? 6'2"? Six two? Okay. That, yeah. That's both. That's, Damn that's it, he, she's height. sizing Shiri up. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, hold on. Django... 5'10 okay. woman out here just... <laughs> oh no, he's just... Okay, never mind. Django's just 6 even. 6 even, yeah. Still sizing her up. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Is Tessie like just clapping like a like a wild man or something? Oh, oh actually, <laughs> actually, um, with the check, uh, called Tessie is just kind of like has a hand over his heart, being like, "My general, that was a brilliant speech." My stars and garters. <laughs> uh, legit, I was close to saying that, but I was like, "This is Star Wars. I can't like be that. I can't be that on the nose." My captain. Uh, captain, like, my captain. Yeah, I fucking love Yeehaw. you. I love him so much. Yeah. yeah he's, he's a precious boy. But yeah, Uncle Tessie's just like, very, very nice words there, General. I'm sure they moved the boat, all the troops quite, quite well, and they'll be ready to give it to him. Suck it to him. Any other orders before, uh, requests before we deploy, ma'am? Um. No, just get everything set up. I will be just a moment. Of course. And, uh, yeah, the other troops will, like, she'll, like, get on the comms and be like, All right, men, our troopers, get to your gunships and await orders for deployment. And, uh, that's just sort of, like, all points built in. All of you guys, um, Raz, you're called over to the speeder and, like, the gunship uh, with brass and, like, two other uh, rough riders. And, like, you're just getting ready for takeoff, uh... Soren, I don't know. Uh, Soren and yeah, Soren and Viper. What are you guys up to? You're just like sort of in other gunships, Sorry, waiting Viper. for other things, or are you guys going down in a, the same gunship with Shiri Ben and Co? Uh, I think so. I, yeah. I, I think so because I know the plan is to get uh, Sora up, up and running with the uh, air recon. Okay. But yeah, uh, I'm and um, entries near me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, entry's falling behind. Nice. Sweet. Okay, where? In the web. Here we go. I just need to pull up a reference for the gunship. Oh, God. Yeah. Excuse me. You're good. Um, I'll, say you guys, I'll say you guys will be coming in from uh, the north uh, eventually. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, while all that's going on... Yeah, sure, Vin. What, uh, what's she doing? She's going to, um, you know, just make sure D-Gag is, you know, prepared. <laughs> and she does inform her, like, I'll be just a moment. I have to make a quick call. Of course, Master. We'll, your friends and I will we'll be waiting on the gunship. I'll be there shortly. <laughs> and, you know, she sees her off for, like, uh, she more than likely slips. Like, how far are, like, the quarters? Um, I'll say they're like a couple, like a hundred or so feet away, maybe a little bit more. Have to go a couple hallways to get from the gunship to. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna definitely quickly get that get over there just so I can like make sure that I'm in private. Yeah, and I'll say like as you are getting over there, like some of the clones will sort of like give you salutes or they'll just say like, My, no, uh, nice words, generals. Gonna say we're ready to give it to those sorcerer scum and just yeah, just generally like sort of like. uh 
it feels like kind of like you're walking down like the like kind of like a like a football high school football player getting like yeah. cheered on by by uh, colleagues. They love to see it. Yeah. There's something about just like sor- there's something about just like sorcerer scum and then just like a clone in the background just like yeah fuck them wizards. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them wizards. Put that on the shirt and sell it. But send them back to the goddamn moon. <laughs> God. As a, as, I, I will say, them wizards <laughs> on content shirts. Yes, yes, get on it. We need a shirt with a clone fuck trooper just wizards. like holding a lightsaber, saying "fuck them wizards." Fuck Artists, them wizards. I I don't know how many dedicated we artists we have in the chat. Otherwise, we'll just calm this eventually to make it an emo. But we will get "fuck them wizards" as merch. Fuck them wizards. <laughs> as a person who vehemently does not like. Wizards, just because they're so squishy, I'm 100% for this quote. Oh, damn. Yeah, fuck them wizards. Fuck them wizards. (laughs) But yes, you are going off into a, going off into your quarters, and you're just getting, like, getting, um, the acknowledgement from the clones will sort of die down as, like, the hours are sort of like, okay, there's, like, hours are becoming just an hour, maybe 30 minutes, and then, uh, you go to your quarters, and, uh, you are left alone to your own devices. What would you like to do? Jerry calls Obi Wan. Oh. All right. It, go, it rings for a little while, just and like he comes up and it's just like, oh, oh, and he's like, he's like in like his night robes, just being like, oh, oh, shit. Was it late over there? Shit. <laughs> I mean, like you guys are come, you guys came in at Jakku like oh, like basically four a.m. Like the sun's oh, not even shit. up there. Oh yeah. And it's just like oh. Shivan, you, uh, is there something you need? Uh, I, uh, I, late as all apolog- hell over here, but I'm always down to take a call. I apologize for waking you. No, 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 it's, it's fine. I was awake when you called. Totally. Uh, it kind of gives him that look, like, hmm. like, mm, like I wouldn't no. lie to you. <laughs> of course, Vespa. <laughs> Would I lie? <laughs> Would I lie? <laughs> no, but she, um, she just shakes her head and she's just like, I apologize again, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm safe. And I apologize for leaving in such a hurry. It's t- to get to say goodbye to you. It's, it's totally understandable. This, this mission takes import in times of war. We all have our duties to be sworn to, and sometimes things get rushed, and we have to attend to our duties. It is our responsibilities as um, Jedi generals. Right. Yeah, and he'll kind of like scratch the back of his head. Yes. It's still a little awkward, isn't it? Oh, so awkward. Yeah, uh, she says that out loud. She will. Okay. Is it? That's kind of an understatement. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, to be quite honest with you, I was sort of hoping you would push me away in that moment back in Ooh. your quarters. Um, oh, fuck. It, it took a direction I, with everything that happened with Dooku and the younglings and Anakin, I just needed Emotions Some... were high. Yes, and very much so. I just needed something, some form of comfort, but... And... But at the same time, I know we aren't supposed to give in to those temptations as easily, or not let it overpower our basic desires and our duties. And... But at the same time, I... I don't really regret it. There it is. My <laughs> mind <laughs> let me know, but my body, my body is telling me yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, just, just looking very sheepish. He, like, uh, like, it very, like he. It's just kind. It's almost like you kind of flash back in your mind. And he's just look nothing. He's back to kind of like his Padawan days. Of just like you know, 
right before Ooh. he's coming back from Mandalore and like talking about this duchess he met and all of that and yeah and baby he's just like McGregor. yeah just he, he's kind of like back into that yeah he just is like like scratching the back of his head just generally like very unsure he's so much less sure of himself than he typically is look it's it's a new field something completely out of your expertise out of your expertise yeah mm -hmm. and i get it i'm not going to push nor am i going to beg for something I meant what I said, and I don't regret it at all. I'm glad you don't either, but if you do want to continue any of this, and I'm fine with it, you need only say the word. He kind of like turns away from you for a second, and he closes his eyes, but looks to you again. I... I appreciate the time to think. Um, it's just I... Well... It's... I never told you it was quite difficult when I... After Satine and I split due to our duties, it was a difficult first few months readjusting to life in the order I as a matter of fact I even ran away for a short time but you ran away <laughs> I know it's <laughs> it's a bit out of character for me but I <sighs> I just needed time away from all those people to think all the masters they couldn't understand. Nobody was of my age. Qui-Gon wasn't... was giving me more riddles that were too much for me to really take in the full meaning of, and over time I eventually realized my place is with them. And now that you're here, and ever since you told me about what happened to Satine, I realize that sooner or later the people that come close to me are going to be in danger, and I'll be in a situation like that where there's nothing much I can do to stop what happens to them. But I, while you are here, I, I know there are some things I can do f to protect you, at least, and I want to be there for you. I'm not sure how much or in what capacity, but in some form. You certainly have left an impression on Anakin, and as is your friend, uh, Raziel, even. <laughs> Same here! Same here, buddy! <laughs> But Cherry She does look it's a smidge smidge disheartened. If he was able to like see her in person, like yeah, by looking in her eyes she would you would see it. But mm -hmm. if it's just through a screen it's kind of fucking hard. Oh yeah, it's on a hologram, but, but uh I mean I mean uh, you can't really see it on a fucking hologram. I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those know. things where it's just like you need to... You would need to be there to feel the context of it. I, I get what you're saying, yeah. Makes yeah. That, 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 we're in a Clone Wars era. I'm pretty sure we haven't, they haven't even found 5G yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you're pretty far in the Outer Rim, so the message in... You do get most of it. It's jarbled in places, but it's just enough to make out. And, yeah. Yeah. She... 
She just shake, uh, just kind of shakes it off, and she just takes a breath. And I do want to be there for you too. I meant what I said when you. You've been there for me since I've come back. You've always looked out for me, and I. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. So if you need anything from me. You need only a. And you'll kind of just look to you and be like, "Good, I, I appreciate that very much." Um, I wish there was more I could say. It's just the council here is still in shambles, and we're still you, trying to rebuild she, the tower. She does and, like. She holds up her hand. You should rest. You have a lot on your plate. I understand. We'll... We'll do what we can. And just... Try not to get... Try not to do anything too reckless this time. Or... At least... Without thinking so, what I would do in that situation. We will try our best. May the force be with you. And also with transmission and she kind of just like sits there for like and and uh, I'll say patch kind of knocks at your, at your door. Uh, uh, yes, uh, come in. Yeah. And they'll, like take off the helmet and just like sort of like sit in front of you being like um nervous general. Uh, yeah. Very. There's been so much that's happened in the past few days. Mm. And this now it's my first mission as actual general. Commanding an army, it's... I feel like I'm out of my element. It's... I'm not the only one, general. It's... It's all new for me, too. Having... I know I had a lot of men under my command in Ryloth, but this is something. It's a whole new animal. Well, at least we're in it to get the patch. <laughs> Indeed we are. I just sort of like pat you on the back. I, I at least have some, um, uh, if you need anything to sort of ease your tension, I do have, uh, back to injections if... That might help. Or something to at least, like, a calming nerve agent. I think I'll be fine, but I appreciate the offer. Of course. Um, I'll, uh, sort of, like, pat the side. I'll be going down with you then, or... I'm... You'll be coming down with Uh, I just had to make a quick call. Um, I'm ready to go, though. Oh, all right. And, uh, with that, um, every, all the clones are, like, sort of, like, going to their stations, the ship going, like, <laughs> as, uh, eventually, uh, your gunship, Raz, just, <laughs> it'll start flying in from the outskirts of, uh, and like inside the ship, I'll also bring I'll bring in your token and also brass, if I can find him. Oh baby. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll sort of say you can see the gunship there. Uh, like uh, off, off in the I'm pinging right here. Let's see. I see yes. my token. Yeah, it yeah. is seen. Yeah, and let me pull. Up. Oh yeah, I see it too. Yeah. I just had to zoom in. My library, and here is Brass. Yeah, I'm all zoomed. Nice. Yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit more. But yeah, so it's you two, and like I'll say, a couple other 99th light uh, clones just being carried in on speeders. <laughs> um, I'll say as you're flying in, Res. You are kind of hit with this wave 
very similar to what uh, Talzin showed you back on Dathomir. And that shaking feeling in the back of your mind of uh, reminding that, like, sorcerer, that the sorcerers or someone of a very energy similar to Soren's was the one who did in uh, the did in your tribe and you get the sense that 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 underneath this town somewhere is the figure that that has done that oh boy I'm gonna roll stealth check for the gunship yeah he just Um, that memory comes back and he's just weighing that in his head He's keeping his cool and composure as best he can for the mission, because he has to. Mm -hmm. This was what he's trained for. But at the same time, there's that lingering dread Mm -hmm. of finding those answers. Okay. I'll say Brass is like right by your side. It's like, hey, Kay, look all right. Look a little dazed there. Uh, yeah. I'm alright. Just stuff on my mind. It won't distract me from the mission, though. Oh, good. About to cut touch down. Or oh, coming on the drop point. As, like, the two clones are, like, getting up on their speeders. <laughs> and, uh, well, let me just drag all of y'all. As the gunship flies off, goes like, red light, off on green! And then suddenly, as both doors on the gunships fly open, as the two clones on their speeders will sort of embark in uh, uh, different directions. And uh, you and Brass, I'll say, will land right about in here. Uh, I'll say, like, your guys are, like, just all on the outskirts of the smog area mm-hmm. as okay the, as the gunship will fly out of view <laughs> seemingly undetected <laughs> nice nice perfect yeah all right and like you'll look to the others all right dust bronco sweep the area yes sir <laughs> and like they're just going to ride along the outskirts of the town and sort of ride out of view from you and I'll I'll put him on the GM layer for now so yeah and it's just you and Brass so uh, while you are here I would like I'll say you're given a um, uh, macro binoculars as well before this part so if you can go ahead and roll me a perception check and we'll like just add a plus five to whatever the roll is as far as sounds good yeah 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 Perception for here. Uh, I'm usually proficient in this. Uh, glad you have the plus five. One, two, three, four, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, <clears throat> you kind of like look around, and you do see the. Uh, I'll I'll say with the thirteen can't quite like even though you have the coordinates you can't quite specifically pin down where the uh where the entrance is to the sorcerer's place but um you like look around the macro binoculars and inside the walls are like you're just kind of like like putting on and like keeping your ear up not even your force nothing's really going off in the town itself like you're but you're still seeing the smoke the smoke is still very much there which is throwing you off Hmm, that is interesting. And I'll say Brass will sort of ride over. <laughs> they like get on the communicator. <coughs> Brass, on the spot. Seems to be all clear from here. No guards posted on nothing. I'm not getting any readings either. But the fact that there's smoke makes this suspicious. Yeah, seems a little too easy. <sighs> Wanna call him in, or shall we scout out a little further? Check out the town itself. Let's keep scouting, but continue to keep a low profile. 
Just in case. All right. You got that, Bronco? Dust? Go. Yes, sir. And uh, they're like continuing riding throughout. Um, and Brass is just going to wait by the... Uh, I'll see. I'll put... Alt. Where is that key? There he is. Uh, he's just going to wait right by. Uh, are you riding out in any particular point? I'll say, like, it's early out and you don't see anybody, so you can ride out as fast as you like. Or if you would like to stealth just to be safe and just keep going half speed, then you can. Um, but, yeah. Or just, like, keep... Yeah. Um... Let's see... Hmm. I almost kind of want to... Uh, how... Let's say... Hang on one sec. I want to measure this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if I go around this uh, smoke and, like, kind of go to this area, it's uh, mm -hmm. 1,500 feet. I'd probably need to use the speeder to get... To oh, make yeah. some... For sure. If you go okay. by... If you're going full <clears throat> dashes... Just um, because that is 1500, it's five, so it's because, mm -mm. yeah, if, you, if you're going on your speeder, you don't have to risk exhaustion, but if you're just running there, you will risk getting exhausted by just flat out running there. And the speeder covers like what it's 90 feet per dash, so if you go <clears throat> full throttle on a speeder, it's like uh, how much again? Uh, let me double check the stats. Let's see, it's ninety base, ninety base speed. All right, and if you use your so, action to dash, it gives you double that, right? So it can give you full... yes, yeah. So you can... double dash. Uh, the construct can travel at up to two times its speed in addition to its normal movement. Okay, so with that, you can go two seventy. Um, and you would get there with it within a minute, if you would like. If you're going full yeah, speed. Yeah, he'll, he'll do that. He'll just be mindful of... He'll just keep an eye out for anything that... In case anything hears the engine. Okay. Yeah, so go ever, like, place yourself where you thought of mine and make another perception check. Okay, uh, he'll go... Go, like, here-ish. Okay. Within this area of shrub, mm -hmm. keep a low profile, and another perception. Yeah, Let this, this be yeah, still better. A plus five. If you're if if you're stopping yeah, I, to look, then yeah, it will be a plus five still. I will be stopping to look. Okay. All uh, right. Come on. All right. Eight. Eighteen. I will actually nice. That's more. better. Nah. Still nothing. Like Shit. even like I'll mm. say. You're getting a cl better look at this sort of wrecked off a uh, star cruiser over, like, in the sand. It looks like it has to be an old Republic model. And it's just buried in the sand, ass over tea kettle. Just, like, wrecked beyond belief. Like, I'll say with the 18, you can maybe make out, like, some predatory desert creatures just rooting, lo just, like, playing around with, like, wrestling with, like, leftover carcasses of other animals there. But nah, just place looks deserted as deserted can be. Damn. Um... Yeah. I'll say, uh, Bronca from will report and being like, found the other entrance on the other side of town, and, uh, uh, Dust will be like, found another one here as well! And, like, uh, Brass will report and like, you find anything, kid? Uh... Yeah, he'll just go, nothing but an abandoned Republic cruiser. It's years old, though. Hmm. Nothing but critters around there. Um. Hmm. It's my call, but I'll go with whatever you advise. If we'll bring the rest into land. Thank with that I'm gonna scout to one more area all right if I see nothing we'll call it in Roger that he'll like sort of not off so yeah where are you going next 
I am going to go... Because it was in here, and he's not getting anything. Mm -hmm. Neither here. So... I think to round out the factory area, he will... And I just saw critters in this area, nothing else. Nothing else, no. Okay. I think he will go... Yeah, he here. Can... Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, to make it there easy enough, go ahead and make one final perception check. Okay. Come on. Give me. Give Ooh. Me. Ooh. 22. 22. Oh. Oh. Like, uh, I'm still, I'm still able to be heard? Hello? Yep. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, you're Hello. Yeah. Computer made a weird sound, but yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. say, yeah, with the 22... You notice off just in the distance uh, what appears to be, like, the back of, uh, like, sort of a scrunched-up battle droid. Just, like, in the folded position, just barely sticking outside of the sand. As, like, a wind is, like, gusting over it. It appears deactivated. Ooh, uh, where? Uh, I'll say map. right about here. Uh, hang on, I need to do zoom out. Oh, ping that's... that again oh yeah because i'm on the other layer so right here in this general area right by this rack okay mm -hmm. and he um he'll communicate with brass over his communicator i see a battle droid over in that vicinity looks deactivated though Get a closer look at it. I think I am. Keep your positions. Yes, sir. And, you know, hmm. How? Hmm. It's another twenty. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Because I'm like. I want to do that stealthily. Uh... If you want to, like, ride it's... over or, like, just, like, go at half speed, you'll get there just, you know. It'll... Yeah, he'll go at a... He'll go at a slower pace. Okay. In case it would somehow trigger a reactivation. All right. Now, then go ahead and give me a stealth check then, please. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you kind of just like could be better. Yeah, like you kind of like rev a little tad too hard, getting up to it. Doesn't seem to have a reaction though. None that you can tell. Okay. Mm. Um, Raz will get off. And uh. You know what? Hmm, do I want to raise the force points? Uh... Yeah, I'll just... How cautiously approach. Yeah. I'll say, as you get off the speeder and get closer to it, you don't even need to check. You can verify that this is of almost the exact same model of droids you came across on Skako Minor. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, oh, boy. Yep. And very similar to the ones in those crates that they took. Those were, oh god, what were they? They were the assassin ones, right? No, they were just B1s. It was just like, oh, basically oh. like, an A, an A, 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 an A, mm, an A, A, T's, an arm, or was it A, T, T? I, I don't remember. The droid transport vehicle. It was enough to like, fill up like maybe okay. four of those. 
Yeah, so God, okay. Like about like ninety six worth of droids. Wow. Ooh. That was a... Yeah. Ooh. That's a lot. Yeah. That is. Um. But he. This is only the one that you notice is kind of like in this deactivated position, just like buried beneath the sand. It still looks like it could be operable, but it's just in this resting mode for one reason or another. Right. He. Especially considering he's not the most adept at technology, he's not going to mess with it. Mm -hmm. So, but he got a close enough look to know where it came from. Mm -hmm. He's going to approach his bike again. Mm -hmm. And he's going to... He's going to silently, like kind of on a hushed tone, call in brass. Right. And... All right, and like the others report in, like, right. Well, what's the status, kid? It's deactivated for sure, but it can still be operable. Hmm. It's one of those B ones that was taken from Skako Minor in those ship shipments. Hmm. It's buried in the sand for a reason. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if there are more covered in the area. Sure, and uh, he'll like split word to um. Uh, to Dust and Bronca, and he'll like relay to the rest of you guys up in the gun in the venter, being like, General, uh, we at least got a scan of the outside, at least according to Raz, from what he can sense, there's no one inside the town, and we have deactivated at least one deactivated droid in the in the perimeter. What are your orders? Should we call him in? Oh, uh, I think uh, are you muted. Are you muted, Jinx? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Technical uh -oh. difficulties. We're, we're getting. We're Thank getting you. a. We're getting a hold on finger. Wait. Yeah. I think. She, yeah. She, Hello. Yes. Uh, there there we go. Yes. Yay. Crisis averted. Yay. Okay. So, um, is everyone who's with me right now? It's Patch and who else? Yeah. In the gunship, you have Viper. You have vi uh, I was gonna say Viper twice. You Viper. Have you have Viper. You Viper. You have Viper. And another Ooh. Viper. A fourth <laughs> Viper. Viper Sora and myself patched G Gay and Viper got it. Sword, got yeah, it. and one squad of clones. And entry. Uh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Shuri at that kind of like she raises a brow and then she immediately looks to Soren. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that and uh uh Brassel lane as well like we have the other interests covered as well boys boys and i managed to find them lickety split no guards no traps no nothing but the smoke's still going burning right and high stay wary of your surroundings of course i kind of mm. looked a sword at this yeah and he looks extremely puzzled they aren't planning it. They weren't planning for. They might know. We're here. Okay. Um. Jerry at that will relay that same information. Okay. So. We might need. You might need to be very careful with any move you make next. They oh. might be aware we're here. Of course. Shall we call the gunship back or take refuge in the town? It might be too risky. Ah, shit. Um. Just make the call. Yeah. Make a call. Pull back to the town. Stand your ground. Report any Sightings. Of course. I was like, got there, just Bronca. Because they, like, yes, and they'll, uh, and Brassel's coming, uh, stay on the outskirts of the town, or you want us to go in and see if we find anything fishy? Send in one squad. All right. Of course, and, um, yeah, it is just, it is just the four of them. Like, they went in oh, really, shit. really Sorry. Hard. 
Yeah, you're good. Sorry. Um. Have have two of you stand guard. Two of you go in. Of course. Raz, feel like going in? I got your back. <sighs> I've got yours. Let's do it. All right. And with that, they'll make a. Uh, 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 Brass will sort of put like a marker on uh, the entryway, so like it's sort of like a little beacon that only like the clones will pick up. So you guys will know exactly where. Well, yeah, like you and the rest of the clones will know where these secret entrances <clears throat> are, at least on the outskirts of the wall. But yeah, um, it takes a couple of minutes. Uh, Raziel, you eventually will arrive at the front gate, along with uh, Brass as well. Dustin Bronco will be waiting. Let me just m get them back on the token layer. And uh, they will be posted outside. And uh, Des will be mm. like, hey, Lieutenant, how much longer we gotta be out here? Places give me the creeps. And like, Broncos will be like, Come on, it's just another another San Ho planet. Nothing, nothing can take us on here. Don't say, you fool. <laughs> we... Death flags. You fool. <laughs> Are we picking up anything else, like, on the radar? Um, I'll say, like, with the signal, like, you're, like, just... It's just a beacon of, like, indicating where the entrances are. Nothing really beyond that. Um. Shit. But, yeah, so, Raz and, uh, Raz are going in? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, going in. Yeah, there's no guards posted. There's, like, two little towers, but... The gates appear to be closed, and a brass and like the other bees, like, all right, come on, help, <clears throat> heave this door open. Yuff! As like he'll try to like push it in, and I assume you're gonna go and uh, help out, Raz. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna help him out. All right, and the second you guys open it up, there is just like, what? Along with some droid, like looks like protocols, and like some other droids are scattered about. It's just so many, like, dead appears to be, like, scattered about the floor. Many, like, some have lobbed off uh, limbs, and it just looks like a massacre happened here. These are, like, organic bodies? Yes, or... like, various races. Like, you see Ethorians, humans, uh, a couple of um, Jawas, just various, uh, various corpses scattered throughout the town. Uh, Patch will like will leave his speeder behind and be like he'll pull out his uh, his vibro sword and a pistol, and he'll be like, All "Right, I'll take points. Cover me, cover my ass." <sighs> Got it. And uh, he will go in. Uh, I'll say, go ahead and make a. He's gonna are your make an. Uh, he's gonna. Would you rather he help you with the invest? Investigation perception, or do you want to just both roll separately? Uh, for perception. Yeah. Or yeah, choose. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he can he can give me advantage on that. All right. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, make a check. Okay. Perception. Ah. <clears throat> Not the best. Uh, what are we looking? Thirteen. At? Thirteen. Yeah. Nothing really out of the ordinary here just like a lot of or outside of the bodies kind of cake the town looks mostly deserted outside of the factory like still like pluming smoke okay he still he sticks close to brass's side and just he's he's just creeping his way back to back inside the town very cautiously. He's like keeping his eyes open everywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, as you keep going in, Bryce is just kind of like back to back with you, just like, I don't like the look of this. Something seems off. Like, we it's gotta call a them massacre. in. Oh, what, he's, what he, he said, we gotta call them in? We, we gotta call them in. <sighs> the general said to hold our ground here. I don't like this, though. It's a massacre. Whatever did this, I don't think the four of us can hold off on our own. We need support. And, uh, you just got- you guys will hear... 
Christ! Come in! And, like, I'll say sure, and you, you guys in the gunship will also pick up on this as well. Yeah. As it's just like, we've made it to the far side of the canyon. Should be only a few... Only a few parsecs before we make position. Any progress? The town is deserted. They might they might know we're here. Course of action then? Uh there were there any updates from Raz? Yeah. Nothing. Uh yeah, he and um, like if we're if we can uh Yeah, you're all in the call in sure. Yeah, you're all in the Okay, way. we're on the same. Sleep frequency? Okay. He'll just okay. go. No sign of life or anything. Nothing but dead bodies in this town. Dead bodies? Various races. It looks like a massacre. I. I'm looking to Soren now. Just. Yeah. Soren go. Soren's just gonna go. They know. They know we're here. <laughs> commence... Commence with the bombing run. Uh, Shiri immediately calls Raz. Raz, get the team out of there. Come back to the ship. Uh, commence the bombing. T minus... <sighs> Five minutes. <sighs> Affirmative. We're on our way. All right. And he'll uh, disconnect. He'll look to brass. We need to get back to the ship. They're commencing the bombing. T minus five minutes. All right. Let's make haste. And uh, yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Still, nothing comes out as you guys are making your way outside. And. Uh, the gunship will swoop by and like pick you up through the smog and like Coltesi will call in Order General As soon as uh Raz and the team made it back onto the gunship and the gunship was pulling away. Commence fire. Yes, ma'am. As like you punch it in and he does the same, goes All cannons! Fire full power, and you guys like all watch, or like you like you can't even watch it, but you, Raz, you almost see it as like the gunship is like starting to pull in, and like you're safely away from the volley. All the guns, <laughs> just like cake the system in blaster fire. If there was anything alive on the surface, it is dead. Almost 100%. Even, like, the, the dragon skull is just... Like, the body remains is just... Broken! Turned to ash. Broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Our dragon skull! <laughs> it's broken! Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. As, uh... Yeah. And... As, um... Yeah, like... Like... Like, you guys don't I'm see this, sorry. but, like, the sand <laughs> is just heated to the point of turning into glass. And, like, Poncro sort of watches from below, from the canyon safely. And then, like, he'll scout again on the comms. I don't see any sign of life. All it's, all it's wiped out was whatever battle droids were buried in the sand. Perhaps they all... They all st no sign of light yet. I'm sending in some troops to scout ahead. I think the time is now or never, General. Keep, have them keep the guard up. There's no telling what they could be planning. Are we on? Are we on holograms? Uh, it's more just like a general risk uh, risk communicators. Okay. Um. Then in that case, um, whatever communicator, um. Shiri is going into Soren is going to pull off his necklace and show um show if there's any if there's any prisoners or, or anyone with this emblem around the neck, please 
bring them in and make sure they're taken care of. I will, inform, I will inform my troopers. And, uh, yeah, Punk Crow will, like, cease transmission. And you guys are going to start flying in now? Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. And, Raz, you're still in your gunship with the Rough Riders, or are you going to join the party in their, in their gunship? Uh. Hmm. Good question. You know, I'll bring that up in game. Uh, as you're yeah, like Raziel's gunship to will land in, just in the landing bay, as like all the clones are standing by, and like Raziel's like your cloak is just, it's like covered in a fair bit of sand as you kind of like brush it off, it just gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't not. I could not. I need some levity in this tense ass moment. It's but, yeah. it's very fair. <laughs> but, yeah. That, uh, yeah. Where do you want me uh, positioned now that we're starting the attack? He asks Sherryvin. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, By sand? No. Um, <laughs> I don't like sand. I kind of, of want to ask um, for a moment of silence. Uh, Alan Ladd Jr. is passed. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh. Hold on. He basically saved Star Wars. Ah, oh, damn. Mm. Shit. Of course. Can we turn off the oh my God. Yeah, I can. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that would probably be a good idea. Let me just. 84, damn. Yeah. So. I'm over a silence for him. This. Yeah. That's a good age to, you know, he. That's a good life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eighty-four years. That's that's a lot. We go on. He was a legend. We march on. Time marches yeah. on. We march on for him. For him. Rest in peace. Yes. Um. All right. Hold on. I need to go back <clears throat> to the more tense playlist. <laughs> Whew. Um. Let's see. So anyway, fuck them wizards. Am I right? Shut the fuck up! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's, okay. it's, totally fine. it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, You're good. Um. Yeah. So, what was he asking the general about? I'm sorry, I got like. So no, you're good. It's uh, totally fine. Raz came back with sand on his cloak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obligatory. I don't like sand meme. Yeah. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> he. He gets back with the Rough Riders and looks to Shurivan. <sighs> where do you want me positioned? With you guys, or do you want me to stay with the Riders? Come with us. Do you All think right. you can stand a good fight? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Alright. And he'll look to Brass and the others. Good work. We did what we could. Sorry for those people, but let's, we'll save it we can this time. Yeah, we will. All right. So, you guys begin to make your way down through the gunships, and you guys are just like going right to trying to cover each of the respective landing places. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll just bring out a lot of gunships. <laughs> so I just bring them out. Like, bring out the tanks. How much did I? Bring out you did. How much did I? I how many did I say you guys uh, came in? Oh, God. I had it written down. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I know I pinned it, it with like... you, Tati, last, so. 
I think it was yeah. like 4,000 D6 worth. <laughs> 4,000 D6 worth. All right. So, gunships, uh, 20. 20, okay. Yep, I got that too. All right, so we got a squadron, a fleet of four over here. Uh, I'll say another fleet of four over... Hmm, let me... I'll zoom in. They'll probably make this easier. Yeah, I'll say you guys are... You guys will be coming in on the middle fleet. Uh, paste. Oh, I right, paste. And I'll say another one off on the far side over here. As they're, as they're all beginning to make their approach to the respective places. And you guys can see that, yeah, like, the town is mostly, like, you know, seem to be kept safe. But, yeah, everything else is, appears to be desolate. But, I'll say, as you guys are starting to fly in, you, um, you notice some movement off in uh, this region right here. Hold on. A little sort of, like... <clears throat> and a, another bit of movement uh, underneath the what remains of the dragon here, as I will go reveal a little thing. Um, oh shit! Yeah, hold on. I need to make yet again another token I didn't think I need to pull out, but. Hold on. Do 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 do. do. Uh, let me let me go to fucking V top. Um, but yeah, like yeah, sword and like how does if yeah, like say like how it's feeling as like you're looking at this place and saying that it is a former shell of what it was and it's destroyed to a point where like you can hardly recognize it. I mean, you just kind of described it there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, at this point, Soren, uh, hearing that, that, um, Xana, the, the, the Xana? Xanatash. Xanatash. I was like, I was like, Xanstash? No. Yeah. Xanatash, um, is empty. There's no, and, and he, he knows, is like, he, he's thinking we're walking into a trap. Um, I was mistaken, so Leah isn't alive. There's no hope, you know, so he's feeling like, Let's just get this over with. Okay. So you guys notice the movement off in these sectors. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> movement. Hold on. Yeah, Let me... I'll point it out. Yeah, like yeah. You over see... by over by where the bones are, and a, a little bit north of the ship. Gotcha. In the red squares, yeah. Yeah. Or rectangles. Yeah. I'm just having yeah. a little bit of trouble revealing uh, these things, but. You see... Great! What? Oh, great. Oh, shit. These, like, what? giant, like, scorpion-like oh! things emerging from the ground. And, like, the oh, yeah. clones are, like, starting to, like... What the blaze is... Where's As... the shield? Where's and... the fucking shield? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah they do like have like their they these do have like like as they're merging out of the sand they don't have the shield but then you see this giant sort of blue particle bubble blah, 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 begin to form around them as their guns take aim at the separate gunships uh i need you guys to roll me uh each of you guys roll me a d20 okay yeah 20? eight twelve Right. Uh, uh, D20, 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 D20. Uh, 14. 14, Can we go okay. higher? Can we go higher? Uh, can we go higher? Can we go higher? 19! Okay. Wow, we can! <laughs> so yeah, we have five gunship squads. Alright, that's higher. That's also... That's lower. That's also lower. Alright, so... The one that actually rolled highest, which would be uh, this fleet right here, is immediately getting targeted on first as the gunship, as the tar uh, the 
Scorponek droid like launches, gets like in a firing position and immediately takes fire in the gunships. And uh, that's gonna be like a couple of attack rolls. So that is, uh... oh yeah, I think all of those will hit. And let me just double check. Well, I'll say the damage it does and we'll just roll it over a couple of times. 66, oh. 32, and 54. So immediately, oh. you guys see <laughs> two gunships immediately taken out and the clone bodies ah, flying down. Ah, and uh, the other, <laughs> the other uh, Scorponek is going to fire on the other incoming uh, thing. That'll Wait, hit. other? Other? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's two Scorponex. Oh, I only ah. saw the I only saw the one with the dragon. Yeah. Two? Yeah. It's just two. two. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going. Yeah, all four of those will hit, and that is going to be another forty-five, fifty-one, fifty-nine, Ooh. and sixty-two. All four Jesus. of those gunships go down. <laughs> oh my God. As far as, like, the survivability of those clones lived or died, you guys have no idea. <laughs> but oh God, suddenly... Oh, God. But wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Where's Crate? Where's Crate Squad? Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> <You'll>, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say wait, that wait, much. Wait, you know wait, Crate wait, Squad wait, is wait, in... Wait, 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 I'll say Crate Squad, you know for a fact, is in this is in this fleet right next to you. And, like, oh, they, they just... Where? Yeah. Oh, is is the, is the Rough Riders with us still, or did they go on a different ship? Uh, so the Rough Riders are on your right. These these other two are just okay. sort of uh, other fleets. But um, I'm just, okay. I'm just spreading them out. <laughs> but yeah, I need uh, you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, oh baby, shit, this, bro, I gotta go to bed soon. I gotta work I in the morning. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably like. Or, or I'll say, or do we want to end it here? Yeah, that's Honestly, good. I yeah. prefer ending it that's here. Good. Let's, yeah, end it on initiative. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, this is fun Machi, Machi, shit. Machi. I, I have work in like 12 hours. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, no, no, it's totally oh, fine. No, I Yeah, because I was getting worried. I was like, oh, shit. They they pretty much wiped out the first wave of droids. <laughs> so the, they're, they're popping out the Scorpion as soon as they show up still. But, um... Yeah, we'll end it off right there. Uh, but yeah, thing. Yeah. Whew. How about that? <laughs> oh. Dang. Shit, wildin'. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> we will come back on initiative. This is. Ex ah, mass we'll encounters! Some... <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. We'll come back into some hot snakes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. But yeah. Um. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming by from TikTok as well as uh, the Twitch. We gained quite a few new faces joining us, and we greatly appreciate that. But yeah, we'll just quickly go around and uh, give a little sign-offs, and we'll be back uh, next week, hopefully, to continue more of this. Um, but yeah, starting off with myself, you can follow me at KKudo VA across all social media platforms. Um, uh, but yeah, I've got some things to eventually announce NDAs and all that jazz and s recordings still need to be done but um, progress is being made and uh, yeah we're getting <coughs> some stuff fun stuff's in the work guys um, but yeah that is my spiel going on down the line to Christian hello my name is Christian best better known as Kappa in most online spaces you can find me on Twitter at the Kappa Chris where I post and uh, updates about all my uh, projects that are coming up as well as just being a nerd and humor and i don't know whatever you, whatever else you do on twitter mm -hmm. um but uh you know i'm on uh roads uncharted the first actual play podcast set in the genesis system by fantasy flight games you can find that on every, uh, new episodes every friday everywhere you can find your favorite podcasts um you can also find me here every wednesday night doing revenge of the crit yeah. Uh, yesterday I recorded with Creators Assemble on their Twitch channel, um, and, and just a general really, like, interview with, uh, Lamar the Con guy. That was a lot of fun, really good conversation, really put, a pers put into perspective how much I've grown in the TTRPG space. It's, it's wild to, to have a retrospective. I highly recommend everyone kind of, uh, take a moment and think about their growth, um, in the space. Yeah. Um, 
other than that, I have a few announcements coming up, but not quite ready. I don't have all the information yet, but again, keep a uh, watch on my Twitter at the Kappa Chris for updates. For sure. And after Christian, we have Tati. Hey there, it's Tati here. I played Razio. You can also find me on Twitter at Tati the VA. I post voice acting, audio updates, uh, project stuff, D and D stuff, memes, nerdy related tweets, what have you. Uh, you can follow me in every Wednesday's Revenge of the Grit here, and also uh, every Tuesdays I'm in a couple other streams, The World of Eris. Every Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. PST via Orion VA's Twitch, as well as Curse of Strahd. Every other Thursdays at 7 p.m. PST via Dungeons May Cry via Twitch. And alternating every other Thursdays, Ghosts of Salt Marsh that we've just started. Uh, same day, same time for our level one characters. So check me out. And yeah. It's cool stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm just getting everybody in places. So we all know where we're at. Like, I'm putting you all around the gunships, but you're also, we'll say you're in this We one. are the gunships. Yeah. You're in the one with the, <laughs> you're in the, one with the little purple the dot. Um, but yeah, that is, yes, we will, yeah, go ahead and check these guys out. Next up, we have Jinkles. I don't have my thing working right now because, uh, yeah, sorry, but hi, I'm Jinkles. Uh, you can find me at lovejinkles on twitter.com where I post about memes and demo reels and and just all around fun stuff. Um, I do want to say, if you are a voice actor and you are listening to this, please drop your demo reel in a, a recent post that I made because I am doing a small non-paid casting thing for a buddy of mine and it's going to be a little fun series. I'm not going to say what it is. But if you're interested, feel free to drop your demo reel in the replies on my page. I'm yeah. rushing as we speak. Fucking. What? What if I don't have a demo reel? Oh, then don't worry. You can just okay. give me some. You can give me some examples of your voices and stuff. If you have like a few YouTube videos, if you have like a small clip from something that you did, just feel free to send me something. I need to hear your voices. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And last but certainly not least, our good boy Chase. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, I, I apologize. Hey, everyone. Better <laughs> late than ever, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can find me over on Twitter at the Chase Beck. Um, you can find me over at YouTube at Chase Beck as well. Um, I have almost amassed 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. What the fuck? Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Nice. Again, it's okay. Get it. Dude. Let's okay. go. Again, again, y'all, again, just like, goddamn, people really do like, um, really do like that, that Berserk went also, the video, it, the fucking Berserk video was almost at nearly half a million views. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Whoa, nice. Good, Good shit. shit. Damn, goddamn. Ah, uh, lots of, lots of, again, just like Kevin here, a lot of, um, NDA stuff in the in the works as well, but mm -hmm. when it comes, it comes. Yeah, uh, that's all for me. Back to you, Kevin. Yes, but yeah, thanks everybody for coming by, new and old viewers. We appreciate the support greatly, and also shout out to Roll Twenty for finally getting a legal dark mode inside the game. It's, yes, oh, so so I would change. I would change out the purple, but that's just me. Um, if Roll20, if you're li listening to this, um, color customizing the secondary colors, that would be a chef kiss feature. I would love you more than I already do, and that's already a lot. But, with that out of the way. Kevin, thank that's some really good feedback. Oh, <laughs> that's what? some really good feedback. Well, <laughs> thank you. I, I, it's very minor, constructive criticism. I, I mean, the purple works for, you know, Shiri and the squad. It's just like... And more of that, but at least for me, I just love the red vibes. <laughs> what if it was purple? purple! But yeah. See, purple. <laughs> up oh. first. Yeah! Dinosaur. yeah, I was gonna say, up first, dinosaur. Yeah! Oh, yeah. That's, oh, I'm sorry, I'll say Sora's with you guys. It's probably like in just another off a gunship. Yay! Yeah, she, she'll Ura. be in your little squad. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for tonight's episode. We'll be back as the battle for Jakku will commence. And remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear your masks, get vaxxed, get boosted, 
We love you all very, very, very much. And remember, as always, may the rolls be with you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Night. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.